on the field. All right, all right, everybody. We're back. We are back. We were supposed to be on a, on a certain individual's podcast, but but he got scared. He knew that what I was going to bring to the table, and I don't blame him because I honestly I was going to make him look very stupid and very weak and uh, and uh, and and a liar. I was I was going to expose him, and it was good on his side that he. Uh, he canceled at the last minute. Uh, I feel bad for uh, West Coast Graffiti because he did try to set this up. Uh, he promoted it on his platform, and he just he just made him look like a like a liar to his subscribers, which uh, he he made. He gave up his when well, you know that this it's just this guy is just like Hater Road where he doesn't care who he throws under the bus as long as he wins. But this guy supposedly is gonna put out something. So let's let's uh let's. Let's give him the old Blue Devil treatment here, and let, let's find out what he's gonna he's gonna say. He's calling us, right? Okay. All right, so they're just about to watch a video. Not sure they don't show it to nobody. Okay. You know, I'm glad. It's funny that um, Gil likes to say, "No, I haven't said anything. I haven't done anything. I haven't talked about anybody." Because this motherfucker doesn't. Doesn't put his videos public. He makes it private every single time. He knows he's going to get in trouble. So what he does, he makes it private so nobody can see it. Huh? Because he's scared. He's a oh, weak you man. Okay, you can hear a little bit. That, he, that's, that's okay. he talks tough on that mic, that and he makes himself seem really like he on. knows. He he runs things, but he's yeah, actually a very weak man. I feel bad for Boo Boo sitting right next to that guy, knowing oh, that this guy is lying, and this guy is making things up, and this guy cannot, cannot keep a straight face to all the lies that he keeps putting out. I mean... I. I feel bad he's, for this these is two the guys. One he's saying because, so right now. Norby is saying that. <laughs> let's hear, uh, let's hear what he said. That and I we are reacting to his Tony right now. Said, this is a reaction. And said that the reason that Marvelous was able to say all the stuff about me reading that fake paperwork that I put him in danger, right? Because <laughs> I was. Saying, yes, you did. You really did. You definitely okay, put him in mute. danger. That that part muted. Before that, before um, that paperwork that stuff thing came out, you called into Rodian Radio and, and on front of everybody like in the hypnotic picture. interview, you said Marvelous was, was talking with informants. You did that before Marvelous, Marvelous ever did with, anything uh, to you, Gil. But here you are trying to find a reason why you he you had to do what you had to do. You put his family in danger first, not thinking about what was going to happen yeah, to him. And then you get mad and butt hurt fact, uh, because the go, same go thing happened to you. It's, it's sad. You know, it's funny, though, because I know he knows we're watching. And I know he's getting okay. nervous. And I know everybody's just wondering, what is he going to say? What is he going to say? <laughs> I'm laughing because this guy Look, this guy does have paperwork oh, yeah, He's not going to show it He he likes to say that he's a cholo He's trying to say that Norby's not even a cholo Why do I need to say that I'm from, I'm a cholo? Why do I need to say that I'm from a I'm a hood? Like, I'm not How does that make you better than me? How does, how does that make anybody better right, than anybody right, else? Right. To say something like that but this is something that you you, you want to make yourself look like you're the tough guy saying you're the cholo you're you're of the streets um look at the email i sent you 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 didn't want me to come over because you know you knew i was going to make you look bad you knew you weren't able to handle me and that's okay i don't blame you if I was in your position, I would have done the same thing. I would have said, you know what? This guy's going to make me look pretty bad. Maybe I shouldn't have him on. Let me just tell Wes, because you know what? Forget about it. Cancel him. Tell him not to come. Because I'm not trying to look bad on my own show. Oh, we're waiting for Chris. And so you did the that right choice. The part yeah. where, where, where uh, Norby said that he's trying to make excuses for excuses. Marvelous and saying that. I don't make excuses. Uh, I put out facts, Gil. Unlike said, you. Uh, 
Marvelous is messing with snitches and informants, and that was a lie. And that was even the one that I called in, and I apologize just because I didn't want—I really didn't want to put Marvelous in a fucked up position. But but he did. You know what's funny? He he just said right now he yeah. apologized, up, but right, to who? Real quick, not not to the public. He didn't make a public apology. Who was it? Anybody? You know what's Run. funny? That's you know the, the run funny run. part the run about run. this and, and is that he's putting up he's, say, oh, he's, he's putting up Daniel Gunner right now. No, knowing that he Gil America is, Controller was already in business he, with the one known as uh, Savage way Studio. Way talk about he was it, already homie. set to do shows with them, and I think we all know what happened in that situation. I think we all know that working with Savage Studio wasn't a good thing, and Gil. Gil was already Much set up to work with this man. Exactly. He was already exactly. going to do it, knowing his background. He didn't care, but he still oh, was going to do it know. anyways. Yeah, yeah. Which goes to show you yeah. what kind of man he really is. It's, it's, it's sad because <laughs> this was an interview that he's showing on his live that I guess Gunner did with Marvelous. An interview. Yeah, yeah. An interview. Not, not, not a... Work, oh, yeah. not not a project, unlike uh, Gil yeah. that was actually planning on doing projects with uh, Savage Studios. But oh, shit. is he gonna say anything Boom. about that? Is he gonna bring that up? He's no, he's not gonna bring that up because he already knows yeah. it's bad news for him. Mm-hmm. But since you wanna yeah, yeah. you wanna put out laundry, okay. let's put out laundry. Yep. Yeah, Street Squeeze, you've been on this, but he's the one playing oh, the part about he's, he's Mr. Getting Activado, nervous. Mr. You, this and that. Mr. You know what's that. funny? He's that saying that I'm, I'm doing this channel was created by Tony. <laughs> yeah. No, this channel was not created by Tony, Gil. This channel was created by me I mean, I and the Hip Hop Jedi like just to point out things uh, of people uh, like you. Was, uh, people uh, like you that nobody holds accountable, uh, but uh, I love holding people like you and Blue Dildo accountable. I'm pretty sure Bill, Blue Dildo is going to go live soon, and we're going to go on there also. Oh, that's why I know. I'm like, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. You know? All right. He's getting you nervous. Are taking on their dirty fucking he's, stuff. He's starting. He's starting, stuff, so he's starting to. He's starting to really be snitch, careful about what he's saying now because now he knows what, what it, uh, he's being watched. watched. He knows you guys are watching. He knows I'm watching. So he's got. He's got to watch the words that he says now. No, they're not. One has a show me. Show me. Boobie's He's, mic is low. Uh, Boobie's mic is low, bro. I tried to tell Chris he don't want you to get that shine. They're getting so, nervous. And that's a good show thing. Me the, show me oh, the... <laughs> because only, oh, only the guilty get it, nervous. Only the no, guilty hurts. start sweating. Oh, oh, that's only the guilty so start so laughing so randomly. Now, I got to play the, the volume because knowing these guys, he's probably going to try to give me a strike like Blue Devil. Because Blue Devil is definitely a rat. He did rat me out to YouTube. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he'll, he'll do the same thing if he had the opportunity. Maybe just cutting off? Uh, I, think, I think they're having the same issue that Blue Devil has when uh, they find out that we're going live. They're starting to have technical issues. Okay. And this is, yeah, show him. This is all. Here you go. Again, you know it's funny. He's just showing interviews. Interviews. News is the equivalent of Boxer Enriquez for us. The funny part is that he's not playing them. He's not playing any of them. He's just showing pictures of people that I guess have a bad rap, a bad rap. Mind you, if anybody listens to this interview, Marvelous does not get into things that he shouldn't be getting into, and I don't have to explain that. Anybody that knows Marvelous knows that all he does is speak about cultura and about about us as a people, community. But Gil here just wants to show you a picture and tell you, no, look, this is what it is. He's talking to this and so and so and so. Not really going into detail of what Marvelous was talking about, which is crazy because I could show pictures of him with somebody else and I could do the exact same thing. I probably should do the exact same thing because it would be funny to me. Nuggets Rosenberg. Yeah, you want an apology from him. But I did. I told him I did apologize. Where's my apology? Did I, you heard him say, where's it? I apologize. Well, at least he finally knows, publicly, knows, officially knows, knows, said he apologized to Marvelous. Up, now, so how many, after how many, after how many months, a year, two years, he finally says it. Oh, I actually did apologize. Now he says it. Now he has the, the balls to actually say it. 
Now that Marvelous called in and said, you know what? Why don't I put that recording of you crying he to me says, and uh, apologizing to me? Now he didn't have a choice but that. to say. And, and, they, and you got to give credit to Marvelous because he didn't mention oh, this. Oh, that's another thing. He's he didn't talking, say this. He's, he's not. He wasn't telling people, oh, I got this recording the, the, of him crying and apologizing and saying, I'm sorry, Marvelous. I'm so sorry. He, he didn't do that. Documentary, fool. But this dude, I think that's Gil, and yeah. He has, because, he has no again, fucking, fucking he has no fucking shit. morals. Oh, a bunch he, of all he could do is fucking, <laughs> all he could do bro. is uh, what point do you not react you, not doing to it. what's happening. He's literally, right I'm now, he's sorry, winging no, it. Apologize. Just the fact that Marvel is called but yeah. these guys and shook him. Down on the fucking lie, bro. Do you think that rap documentaries are coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Why does he care? Why does he care? Why does he care about documentary? Is it his? Is he his? He, I know he didn't donate, but yet this man, just to attack Tony, he's gonna point out things, projects that are not finished. But he wants to point it out and make and create a narrative that is never coming out because all he can do is lie, make up stuff, and this is this is what American Cholo represents: a liar that only makes up things. Go, because it benefits so him, yes. it'll make him look oh, good. You're trying to that. <laughs> but he can't prove any of it. Everything know, he's man. saying is literally know. assumptions money, and guesses. This man <laughs> doesn't go on any single <laughs> facts at this point because he knows he's lying already. He knows he doesn't know what he's saying, <laughs> and it's sad because he he's literally this. Look, this is the literal definition that. of a narcissist. That, Somebody that, that is uh, going to lie he just to make it seem said, like it's reality, you know, that he make said, it seem like it's real, make it seem like this is actually going to happen. This is what a narcissist does. Is it, have you seen anybody accuse me of anything wrongdoing? Like, I've I seen a lot of people accuse no. him. I haven't wrongdoing. heard anything. Mm -mm. Tony has an accuser. Should Tony come and show us all his paperwork? Well, you know he, what? I'm going to I'm going to invite a special guest to this. That's how fucking silly it is. You come up with an internet fucking accusation, and then all of a sudden I got to show you something? I got to show you something. Well, you're that, the cholo, right? From the street, you're the cholo. You're, you're the one that says uh, you have. Uh, Chris, go look at. The, let, me, let me see the email. Give me a second, man. Let me well, connect okay, you. Hold on. This, this is the perfect. This is the perfect example of why you shouldn't show anything. Didn't you go to county after you were 18? Absolutely. When I was when I was 16, I mean, I got busted. Oh. At 16, when I went when I went to the county twice, like as far as all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, going to bring I in a in guest in like that didn't get the opportunity the to course. say what he needed to say. Course. So he's right he's there. here. Uh, can you hear me? If he went to county yeah, after he was 18, the, the people the that out. associate with all this big, give me a second uh, enterprise or whatever you want to call it me, should already have uh, Gil's paperwork. What's, what's loud? That my means, voice or yeah, no, they're loud. I'm still in my hood, an active fucking hood. So that right there proves to everybody. There you I go, don't bro. Care me. Who you are? If All right. You go to county. Supposedly, okay, so I don't know because I'm not fucking a lame buffoon they over there. Are, yeah. It's right there on Keith, man, right? Yep. If and talking all you, this shit yep. about whose channel I've been on, right? Yep. First of all, all when, when I first started in Orbeez, I'm, I'm not a YouTuber, dog. Nah. And I'm still not. Yeah. I'm not out there I mean, watching. I'm not on YouTube like watching all these channels and all this bullshit. Yeah. When I started off, I started off to teach cultura, biology, health, and whatever whatever I could give to the public, homie, such as knowledge, right? That's all I did, homie. Yep. So hundreds, hundreds, homie, of contractors hit me up. Yep. Hit me up to do interviews. And, and, and I picked whoever, <laughs> we'll you know, see, know. whoever we'll wanted to wanted to we'll do something about cultura or yeah. to see somebody, <laughs> I went on their channel or whatever. Like I said before, I, I don't know who's, who's a dropout or who's not. How would you? Who does? Who's going to go through all that? Who does? All I got was, was an invitation. Hey, homie, would you like to be on my platform? I like what you're doing. You know, I'm a so-and-so. I'm a so-and-so homie. Me, right. whatever from yeah, up north or up, even uh, even some know, of the homies like the south siders down here yep. tell me on some of their you platforms think, yeah. you know what you i mean yeah and i didn't ask them for no, <laughs> ain't nobody speaking <laughs> about paperwork dog nope but, nobody but, and this, was, this, has been, this has been years ago bro <laughs> yep. and so when, anyways artist, I, got, I go I on a channel right yeah and i didn't find out that this dude had left the yard he's not even a dropout dog yeah it's not even that he's a dropout what does that even matter anyways but people are like to make things up though people like to make things up yeah he doesn't even know what the fuck a dropout is homie so anyways point b homie i went on that platform yeah, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. Either platform, either whatever. Either I didn't know nothing about, about his life, life. Yeah. or nothing about yeah. whatever the fuck he did. But you know who did know about his life? Yeah. And who did know about dropouts? 
Gil, okay. yep. American Cholo knows about um, that. Yep. He knows about Rojo. Yep. He knows about Flaco. Yep. He knew about, about Savage Studios. Oh, even so at, even when he had that conversation yeah. with them in Savage in Studios, said, yeah, after I, left, I left the Daniels and, and I became yeah. a yeah. survivor. He, he knew that right? and he still fucked with the Flaco. They were collapsing on doing videos together. Let me let me interrupt you here because it seems he wants to put. It seems like I guess somebody did screen record the video or a misdemeanor. Okay, that's about the I mean. about his uh, fake um, paperwork. Okay, okay. I, you know, Omar, okay. I bet you, I bet you, he's not even gonna play Minor. the last part. Okay. I bet you he's hey, not gonna hey, play the last part. Check it out, check it out, bro. And then he in wants to throw me in and, and another. He goes, I got another probation, screenshot. I got another screenshot. And he puts a screenshot of me and some some white boy, Sandman, right? Yeah. Sandman is a white dude, bro. For whatever reason, he's not from no gang. He's not from no organization. He's never even been busted like that, bro. He doesn't know shit. But Sandman, Sandman is friends with a guy. They were gonna Boxer. give him the time yeah. he was gonna okay. give him, or That's whatever. That's none of my or, business, yeah. homie. I did an interview with Sandman. So, yeah. so whatever right, right, platform right. Sandman put, his, put the, well the, uh, the interview on, that's well, his business, God. homie, not mine. Yeah. You know what I mean? The so, trial but he wants to cause so much controversy because he's so hurt about my definition of what, or not even mine, the definition of what he got. He's got so hurt about that, bro. That's why he called me crying order when he tried to smut me up. And then the let's bring up the paperwork, dog. Yeah, paperwork called me section twelve oh three. People posted up the second Subdivision. video of, of when Apollon I was reading that paperwork, and I didn't read that to paperwork him to, to the section forcefully say that this motherfucker is a child molester. Yeah. I read it because Gil was saying so that he had been to that took, these hoodas, um, and he had did whatever um, to his down, enemy, so he and he had shot an enemy, and he only did two years now, that doesn't in, mean in that a drug he program in YA. Oh. That's yeah. a lie, homie. That's a straight on my, uh, lie. Instagram for He's a lie. Left. And I told um, him in that video, and, um, I said, hey, why don't you, so you can stop all this controversy, bitch. homie, straight up. why don't you read your real paperwork, dog? Exactly. Does, and I paperwork? heard that part. I well, heard that yeah, part. Bitch, uh -huh. But he wants to run with this big ass narrative so and shit because up. he's so hurt you like a little up, girl. People. Can't talk to me and um, look me in my eyes like a fucking man. Yep. You can't, you can't, you why can't he meet up with me like a man? Homie? Bro, he's even scared of me. He's even scared of me. And then look at look at what he did. Look at what he does to Sonny, homie. He goes and ambushes Sonny, bro, and pepper sprays him, dog. How are you gonna pepper spray an old man, homie? I was gonna show up with sunglasses if I did show up. I was gonna show up with sunglasses. How are you gonna do that? Now we got West Coast. Now we got West Coast over there. You know what I mean? That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing, dog. It is. I would I would feel very bad. I call it right now and he goes. Oh, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you 13 seconds, speed man, and then he hangs up. And then West Coast sends me a text I message. On, hey, Gil doesn't want, want me to answer. Like, is that your vato or what? They just keep bringing it up. Is that your vato or what? He don't want you to answer. Are you a grown man, homie? That. Let's see if Blue That's Devil goes on on him this since uh, Blue Devil likes to go on me hey, about that. Hey, go hey, email hey, archive, real quick, Chris. Chris. Yeah. they want to be you know, they want a, an example to be made of them. That's what they want. That's what they're craving for, dog. And, yeah, and yeah. all these motherfuckers like, talking like, behind this YouTube not, fool, yeah. they're little bitches. Straight yeah. out, Norbies. You yeah. know, homie. Yep, yep, I know. You know. Understand how at, at the car show, where was, I was on live everywhere, dog, and Gil's over there hiding. Yep. How are you going to be hiding, homie? Yep. Like, come on, you kidding me? You talking to me like a grown man. This is not an issue, bro. This is not an issue in the streets. It's not an issue in the prisons in there as well. It shouldn't be an issue. You know, I go everywhere, Norbies. Who you are as a person is who you are as a person. Open that up and then go side by side. Uh, but but uh, Gil will, will, will turn the other way as soon as he sees you at an event. Because <laughs> run away. I mean, the be, exactly, I don't go up to bro. you and be like. And, and everybody, you know what is sad, Norby? To see everybody in the comment section that's all hyped up and, and, and adopting people's fucking beef. Those people that are in the comment should tell Gil, you hey, you know what, Gil? And then I you should be a man, you, homie. From? Yeah. A man no. and speak Come on, to that dude in from? person. Where are you from? And handle it like a man. Nah, but we both know he's not a man, though. That At this point, we all know he's not a man, Marvelous. Because, like I said, he turned me down because he was scared. That's he was scared I was going to make him look the, bad. The, the and, exactly. and you know what? He wants to put, he wants to put um, yeah. screenshots well, of text Miko. messages of okay, me talking ahead. about he Tony. So the fuck show what? Me that one. I did talk middle. shit about yeah. Tony before. Well, well, this is yeah. And it wasn't talking shit about this Tony. Here it was talking shit. Saying if the allegations were true about Tony's paperwork, then I wasn't gonna fuck with <laughs> Look, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you, man, but this guy is, is so pathetic. This guy is now bringing up the the, the, the conspiracy that you're half white. Oh my god, my mom is pure Mexican, homie. What the fuck is this? Just because this book can't be Mexican, he's gonna be trying to make sure you're not Mexican either. Hey, the audience, you know what's gonna be funny, homie? 
is that all this, all this yeah. drama, and I'm going to let him do it. That's cool, dog. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to make a video about it. I'm not, I'm not even with all that bullshit. Yeah. But you know what? He said, let him do I'm all his shit. Him, I'm like, I'm let him do confused. all this, homie. Let him talk all this shit. Yeah. You know what? what he okay, wants to go viral. So it's going to go viral when I see him in person. That's going to go viral, homie. And everybody's going to really see what if he's a real man or not. We both know he's not. We both know he's going to run. You know what? I I I would probably see Boo Boo protect him before Gil actually does anything. Boo Boo would probably jump in in front of him. And then another one, he, he's right there, all right there, riding him, riding him, dog, all butt naked, not even wearing a condom. The like, yeah, just got busted for domestic violence like, for beating his highness ass. Figure, well, I, I, like, I he's talking about all this shit about everybody. His, his co-host right there just got busted for beating his highness up. Okay, so we're gonna need some uh, some uh, details on that. Are, will you are you, will you be willing to like post that anything anywhere where the people can see? Because um, uh, yeah, I know I know who will who wanted to do a video, and I I told you about who was gonna reach out, and I'll let him do that. All right, but, you so, know, but they could look it up themselves what he was busted for, dog. All right, like this it's, it's some oh, yeah, stupid ass hypocritical shit, and yeah, he wants to call me a hypocrite. Yeah, come on, I heard about that crazy people. Out anyway, there. I'm sure anyway, you know, though, I'm okay he's a lame dog. Let him whip all that shit like a hyena behind the camera. Yeah, and he is. He is. He's gonna hide behind the camera. He already threw West Coast under the bus. Uh, Boo Boo, unfortunately, he hasn't said one word. He's just twiddling his fingers because he really doesn't know what to say. Because anything he says at this point would make him an accomplice to this man's lies. And he already knows he, he can't. He can't be a part of those lies. Because his yeah, homies will check him go ahead, go as soon as they as soon as they uh, confirm that Gil American Chola has been lying his ass yeah, off. He should put. He should talk he about said, his relationship with Seven Studio. He came that's what he should talk about. Dog. I think that should be brought up. Instead of trying to smut me up, that I did a I did a an interview with Gunner. Who gives a fuck, homie? And you're acting like you're gonna go take you raising your hand like you're gonna go handle some business with Sabato. Well, you know what? Let me point this out. Let me point this out. Marvelous Gil in a fucking heartbeat would jump at the chance to go to no jumper. Of nice picture of little oh, Marv no doubt. When he was no wow, guy, this bro. guy literally has that's pictures little, of he's actually showing pictures of you right as a there. as a kid. As a kid, you know, he pictures of me you know, where? He in, and he's on his life. Go go back pictures go of me. the other pictures. Where, 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 I wonder where he got those from. I don't know, but somebody I don't know. This guy for yeah. some reason Man, this guy's sad. It's oh, sad. So what? what is that? Not? Those are my brothers. Homie. Brothers he's showing, sister, he's showing um, the fight. funeral uh, pictures. Hey, but what how pathetic is, is this, though? How pathetic I that know. this guy is showing videos like that. Like personal yeah, right pictures. Like all, all It's like if somebody like, gave me all of American Cholo's personal pictures of his wife, and of his kids, and of his grandkids, and me just posting them for people to like look at them, judge them, me smutting them at the same time. Like, how how... I mean, it's disgraceful. How can know, this guy call himself? I could see Boo Boo's face right now, telling himself like, "Fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm part of something really bad right now. I'm showing personal pictures of of somebody's family and letting this guy criticize it and talk shit about a man that I, I that hasn't done nothing to me. But here I am sitting." And and, 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 and West Coast, he's, he's, just, he's just he's just he's just not gonna talk really because he already to, knows how bad this is. I know what, what is it? What does that matter? I mean, him throwing pictures of my brothers like, like, what But it shows like, what kind of man this. this not he's not a man. Show, that's bro. the thing. It shows what kind of a just, child narcissist this guy is. No, that this guy can do that. What I'm saying is, where did he get the white part? You know what he said, homie? He said that when he was when 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 he was busted or something or something about my brothers. That they asked childless. my brother if he was white. Like, what does that make my brothers say, white? You know where does that make them white? For us, That's what I don't get. Where did he get the white going, from, homie? Because we're light complexed? Yeah. Is that what that means or what? He's just as light <laughs> as me, dog. <laughs> he, he's just mad because he can't be Mexican, man. That's just it. He's just mad because he can't be Mexican. He can't call himself a Chicano. He's just he's just he's just an angry little boy right now that uh that uh needed wanted to get it his way but as soon as somebody said no it's not like that he he wants to just start fights he just wants to talk shit and i actually feel sorry for him because this guy this guy wife must be looking and if his wife is agreeing with this that that just makes it even worse that he could that she could support a man that would put up another family's pictures and criticize it and 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 smut it up 
Like, hey, hey, I, me, I wonder if her question. wife even thinks about, like, the, the day when somebody gives a stranger her pictures, her kids' pictures, her grandkids' pictures, and they start criticizing here, her family. I wonder what she's going to say. I wonder what she's going to tell Gil. What did you do? Now our family is on the Internet. Now you put our our children at risk. Now everybody knows how our, how our kids look like. This this man does not care about nobody. He's crying that you put him in danger, but this guy is literally putting your pictures, your personal family pictures out like that because this guy doesn't care what happens to you. He doesn't care what happens to your family. No, but check it out, homie. Honestly, homie, it pisses me off. On the set, I really don't even care that he's putting my pictures up there because it doesn't even make no sense, dog. It's All like me saying, say hey, Tony, the Tony's a white boy to, because he's like complex. Uh, Where does that matter, know, dog? Like, go Bowl, his, his parents are both Mexicanos, go you know? So yeah. you already know what it is, like, man. Where does he get that white shit from? Yeah. Yeah. He's you know so mad because he's not Chicano, dog. That's the whole thing, what it is, dog, you know? Yeah. But it is what it is. I mean, like I said, he let him whoop all that shit, dog. He wants to go viral. He'll go viral when I see him. Yeah, no, yeah, but you know what? It's just this. This is why I created this platform because of people like him, people that have no shame, they have no no pride, they have they they're not a man. They they they're a nar they're the definition of a narcissist, and they would throw anybody under the bus. Just, no, 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 just as long as it benefits the them. Back then, yeah. the first and then, hey, to anybody listening on, on this, on this Twitch call that's going whether, back and forth to the youth no, channel, no, call Gil out and tell him to be a man. Either take my call or come and see me in person. He could have my ad. He has my ad, just as a matter of fact. He could come to my pad. Or, I mean, I'm not going to go over his pad and have him send a fucking screenshot of me ringing his doorbell. You know what I mean? But he could come and talk to me. You know what I mean? Like, come on, dog. But he's not. behind a camera all your life. And that's and And then run away when he's sees you at the events. Nah, 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 fuck that if we're doing that because <laughs> anyway, not all right, I'm gonna let you continue on with the show, dog. Not, I thought this shit was gonna be more interesting. I thought he really might have had something on me. Like, you know, thinking about what, what could he possibly have on me, dog, but yeah. come on, fool. Like, be serious, man. And why was he so why was he so threatened by the video I made about him? No, he, but he's he's threatened by you bro. because your channel's I mean, growing, homie. Mean, that's what it is. Yeah, thank you. He wants to shut. He wants to shut you down before you even get a chance to grow. Yeah, definitely. That's what it is. He hates, no, yeah, yeah, he hates but, competition, bro. No, he does. He hates yeah, no, that. He, he does. wants to be the, the guy that figured everything out, that found everything. He wants to be the representative of the Rasa, but he can't even represent himself as a man. He can't. He really can't. I mean, this this live that he did just proves how much of a how much of a piece of shit that he is. I'm a Raider fan, but I'm not a Raider fan. Tell that motherfucker, hey, everybody go on his comment and tell him to hit me up and be a man. Tell him to tell Boo to talk about why he got busted. Tell him that. And tell West Coast to not be a high on be in the middle. Tell him to be a man. He shouldn't be right there cheating at being a cheat mofo. No, he shouldn't. No, he shouldn't. You know what I mean? Yep. But anyways, I'm going to let you continue on your show, homie. I got a tattoo, dog. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. All right, homie. Have a good one. You too, man. Thank you. I didn't say that. I didn't All say right, guys, that. that was marvelous right there, and uh, that was marvelous. And he, he spoke his, tr he spoke what he needed to say because Gil did not, a, did, didn't let him. He hung up on him. He clicked on him. Hurry up, go, 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 go. What do you guys think? Give me the phone emojis if you want me to call this guy right now. Give me the phone emojis if you want me to call him right now. I can't, we can't hear shit over here. Caller, caller. Let me see it. Is the blinker on? Someone Let me the see the phone on. emojis if you want me to call Gil right now. What, what's up, fool? You got the blinker on or what? Hear you. Oh, you can't hear us. What's up, Chris? Yeah. I, I don't know. That's probably your phone, fool. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's your phone, fool. I don't know where you're at. Go ahead. Talk to me. Talk to me. Can you hear me? They can't hear us. They can't hear us. I say, I say Marv called you. Uh, All right, guys, let's wait for his West his Coast. phone to work. Hey, what's up, Marv? So we could call me. <laughs> I have long hair. What's up, caller? Why? All right. Uh, that's, your, that's your phone, fool. Right, okay. up on him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mike. Call back. We'll try another one. It's all right, man. There's YouTube. Hey, hey look, homie. I'm going to tell you guys right now one thing, man. If you guys take comments like that personal, man, then you're fucking up, man. Because honestly... That shit don't mean shit to they me. They say they can't he, hear the caller. Did you have the caller in red or green? Yeah. You got him in red? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, okay. But let's see if people can hear him. Maybe I think I think it was his him that he couldn't hear us. But let let it go on. Let it go on green that way they can kind of. All right, guys. What do you guys want me to ask him? Right, Put in the live chat right now. What do you guys want me to ask him? In the dictionary, it's I don't know, all right, full, man. I'm sure they're gonna call you a lot. That's fine. All right, let's run it. Show him, hot tell line, me in the live chat what you guys hot want line, me to ask him. Line. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? Hey, I just want to say that there's nothing wrong uh, with being half white. You Absolutely know? not. If, you, if, if he is half white, like when you think about it, the majority of us Hispanics are mixed with European blood. You know? Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> All of a sudden he agrees, but if, if Marvelous is half white, it's a bad thing. <laughs> Your old set is weak, Norby's nice try. Okay. All right, run dog. Thank you. But what do you want me to ask you? Why boo boo got locked up? Well, I kind of want to make it between me and him. You got a guy who's not not really about boo boo. I could say the same shit about you. So yeah, yeah, and there's nothing, yeah, and there's nothing wrong about embracing your, you know, your indigenous side. Of either, course you know? not, but there's also there's also some, but there is something wrong with somebody trying to call somebody out for that. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go, there it is. He's upset because Marvelous said, "Bro, you can't be a Chicano because of this and this." Give me a second. Hold on, guys. Hold on. My daughter's half white. I got no problem so, with that. So does it matter if 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 the male uh, father or the female uh, a mother is is white in the in the relationship and spawn, you know, a half? That, yeah, that I'm not sure. Oh, okay, that's what I'll, ask you. I'll answer that right now. Let me tell you something. If that's the case, then we're all Spaniards. We are. I mean, no, no, we are. Yeah, like the certain. bottom line. No, if that's the case, if that's that the case, is, then right? we're all Spaniards because the guys who came over here and had sex with the with the native. Uh, all right, everybody. I got a I got another caller that wants to uh, say a few words. Give me a second. Let me set this up. Whether we like it or not, we have European blood in our in our. Look, you know, in our I'm gonna DNA. tell you guys one thing. There's there's very few, maybe like one percent that are actually. 100% indigenous. Yeah, there's man, very, very few, few, man. So there's, yep. I don't care who you are. I don't care what race you come from, especially here in the United States. We are. All right, caller. Uh, you're, you're live with us. Uh, if you could tell us who you are and why you're calling. Okay, hello. Yes, we can hear you. Hey, uh, Norbert, this is uh, Tony A. from Rodeo Radio. Ah, uh, shit. Conversation with Marvelous. Um, so earlier I got a phone call that another podcaster all of a sudden uh, started talking about me, you, Marvelous. Yeah. So um, c- can you kind of fill me in, like, what was going on? Well, a very weak man, a very uh, fragile, weak man that has no pride, has no... Um, he's a piece of shit. Uh, the thought that he could uh, talk shit about you, me... Uh, bring up uh, old conversations that neither of us knew was happening and try to make it seem... Well, basically, he's trying to turn all of us against each other by trying to make us turn on each other by putting information about it that we said in the past. And uh, that's that's his game right now. He's just playing a game to try to like create some sort of uh, separation. I think he got a little butthurt because... I pointed out that uh, Hater World uh, robbed three of his guests and he made them look stupid. But maybe the, that, that might have been. But for the most part, that's what it is. He's just bringing up a, a bunch of old shit that, uh, which is funny because he was saying that about my video. He's just bringing up a bunch of old shit that doesn't matter. But yet here, yet here he is doing the exact same thing. And when he does it, it's the right thing. Well, you know, the thing is... Norbert, I haven't mentioned him and I don't know how long because I don't care to. No, yeah, you haven't. You know, and I'm not, I'm not going to call it to, dis, to disrespect him. You know, my thing is that he can say whatever he wants to say. It's not going to do him any good. It may get him some views because he's smutting up somebody's name. But if you guys pay attention and if you guys have been watching this podcast for some time, if you go back to the very beginning, the reason why he got views, the reason why he got subscribers, is because all he all he does is smut people's names up. Yeah, pretty much. That's his. You know, and maybe maybe you could help me out, Norbert. Mm-hmm. From the very beginning, I think he started out by uh, so-called yes, talking about my friend, uh, the biggest promoter nationwide, Bobby D. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
then then after that he supposedly had SPM's paperwork. Yeah. Okay. SPM have had, had already been locked up over twenty something years. Then he, he went after Chingo Bling. Okay. Yeah. He went after Snow the Product. He went after Tariq Nashin. Yeah. He went after uh Adam twenty two. Yeah. I mean then when he finally called out WAC one hundred and WAC one hundred shows up at his door, he waves the white flag. Yeah. He, he doesn't want no trouble now. Yeah. Then let me go ahead and pick a fight with Tony. Yeah. So if you look at the history of this person, mm-hmm. this is what he does. He really is. He, he, That's his MO. He has no, yeah, he has no content. So let me talk shit about somebody. And the sad part is people like to watch that. He knows that. But he doesn't realize what he is creating for himself and for his family. Yep. If one man already knocked at his door and called them out. Yeah. And he, he posted that picture of, the, of that man on his page. Why would you do that? <laughs> well, he did come out and say, I wish Tony would have said, oh, I, is your family okay? That really shouldn't have happened to you. <laughs> well, we wouldn't even, you know, we wouldn't even like, you know, okay. I'm going to say some things that I was saving to say, but I'm just going to say them now because I'm not going to waste my time talking about him on my platform. Yes. You know, he says he has receipts on whatever. You know, yeah. let's encourage him to put it all out. Yeah. Encourage him to put it all out. Yes. Okay. Every time he was called a racist, every time he was called a chomo, when those allegations came out about him. Yeah. By the way, which he never cleared up. He just said that it was fake, that it was fabricated, that uh, uh, people are lying, and he cursed everybody out for about an hour and a half. He did. Okay? He did. But he never cleared it up with his paper. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. And those are some serious allegations about supposedly, allegedly, him yeah. touching a 13-year-old girl. Yes. Okay? If you're going to do that, you need, you know, if you're going to go ahead and say it's a lie, at least have the so-called receipts you claim you have to back that up. Yep, exactly. Exactly. You know, but he, he didn't, so he just covers it and continues to talk about the next man and then the next man. You know, so yeah. I, I don't really understand what makes this person tick, bro. Uh, you know what? It's the cloud. He loves it. He loves it more than his family. He 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 loves yeah. the, the this uh, rush that uh, people are watching him and cheering him on, even though he's completely lying to everybody. Just like he's just like Blue Dildo, everybody. just like Blue Dildo, they they, they yeah. love to lie. You know it's funny, Norbert, because I have all of our text messages, which I don't care to show anyone, yeah. because there's a lot of things on those text messages that he said about a lot of people. Yeah. That if I exposed them, he would be done. Well, I mean, but reason. Me yeah, yeah. So go ahead. But, but let me say this. I will never do that to anyone. Yeah. I will take those things to the grave with me because that's what friends do. Yeah. At one point, I considered this guy a friend. Yeah. I, I've eaten at his home, bro. Yeah. You know, yeah. and he's been here twice. Yeah. You know, I spoke at that meeting at a church, at his Cali Mac meeting. I was there to support him. Yeah. And then for him just to like, oh, I got this, I got that. What did I ever do to you? You know, nothing, so, Tony. Nothing. Nothing. But, but nothing. he needs the views. So, he needs the he needs yeah. the views. He needs the clout. Yes. You know, for his birthday, I I called him. I have those receipts. Yeah. Uh, Christmas. Uh, I'm sorry. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving for Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas. New yeah. Year. Merry New Year. I always initiated all of that. Bro. Yeah. When he was getting harassed and he was scared and he was nervous. Yeah. I would call him and encourage him. Yeah. That's why I never understood Nobert why this guy all of a sudden turned against me. Well, I think leave it at that. I I mean he did get hurt but I wanted to point this out which was very odd because supposedly this guy is friends with Gotos but this guy literally said that Gotos went on your platform to end his career and then just and then just die. Really? Yeah. So so Gotos came on my platform just to end to- his career and die. And let it die right there with you. You know, it's funny because I just talked to Goto's, uh, my buddy. He was, I'm, I'm not sure if he's back, but he was in Cancun. Yeah. And Goto's wants me to interview his wife, bro. Yeah. You know, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this other podcaster gets jealous. He probably people does. love me, bro. He probably does. And uh, you might want to tell, let him know that, are you sure you want, you want me to interview your wife? Because, you know, American Chola might say she came here to like, you know, destroy her career and die. Yeah, you might want to. I, I know he might want to know that piece of information. 
since uh, okay. Kyoto Goto's already, you know, went over there and yeah. let his career die, apparently. No, you, you, you know what I think he's really mad about Goto's is that uh, Goto's beat him at arm wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be Goto's at our yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it at that, Norbert. All right, you man. Have a blessed night. We'll talk soon, bro. You too. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate it. All right, guys. I'm going to make the call. Hold on. Because I know you guys have been waiting. Let's see. One, seven, four, seven, two, seven, nine, eight, one, zero, nine. Hey, I call Blue Devil's show. I'm going to damn sure call this muffled show, too. Let's go. Please leave your message for seven four seven. All right. Two, Let's seven. try that again. Redial. Please leave your message for. Okay, so I, apparently he's talking to somebody right now. What, what's going on, boy? Talk to us. I'm Ray Mai. What's up with you, man? Big supporter, big supporter of you, Thank bro. You. That's right. Um, I go by, I, um, I go by your boy, man. South Central Outer. You know what I do. Oh right yeah, here, bro, yeah. What's I, up, brother? All right, so we're gonna wait for this uh, this guy to you, stop licking his balls and uh, so we could call him. You know like to talk all that. Yep. Fucking shit on the goddamn thing, but no, this is not verdad. You know what I mean? Yep. The way you do it, bro, like, and it's true what you say. Sometimes we stay quiet for. This is the guy that was. Remember, I don't know if you guys remember this guy's history. This is the guy that was asking street vendors to help him get out of jail. Street vendors to help him get out of jail. This is the guy that's calling right now. The street audit guy. I don't know, and it's crazy, bro, because I was looking at it, I was like, damn, this shit is getting kind of interesting, bro, you know? It's crazy because uh, <laughs> Alex I mean, Enamorado was the one that like, put this like, guy, bro, this fool out, like, what, saying, like, bro, we don't shit, ask you know, the food yeah, vendors yeah, yeah. for yeah. money to help us. We get money to help them. Like, this guy got money from street vendors so he could get out of jail. Crazy. That shit is fucking crazy. Another, another narcissist. Factor, bro. Yeah. You gotta have facts in here, bro, because look, Thank you. my mom... You know, I know, I know West Coast knows this guy's history. Line, That's why he's not gonna say that. You took that? Hey, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then when you find out it's a lie, you don't have the fucking balls to sit there and say, man, I fucked up. And me as a man, that's a... I'm sitting there saying, hey, homie, I'm going to... This motherfucker, he just called just him. He didn't say it publicly. Just, Today no, is the no, first no, time he's ever said publicly, I apologize. I know, I know, Gil, that you've been a person, bro, that likes to keep the community, regardless whether people like it or not, people like your opinion or not, you always try to keep it together, bro. And, Absolutely. And that's one thing I do. All right, guys, so we're going to wait for this call. I need you guys to tell me on the chat, would you guys want me to ask American Cholo when we get in? what you're doing. Right. They cannot have people around you like you're doing, bro. Right. And, and that's the shit, like, como te digo, the caller right now. Bro, you have too much shit going on for yourself, going on for the community, going on for the people. I, I don't understand I don't that. You, a handball, a handball tournament, and giving out turkeys. Mind you, although it is a good cause, does not represent that you're doing things for your community. I volunteer to these things, and you don't see me saying, "Well, I do this and I do that, and I make sure I do this." But you know, for Gil to save face, and so he could. Make himself look good. He's gonna put that out there. Just this week I was on one. Hey, just don't feel me eating, man. Like a lot of these uh, audio no, people, man. That's one thing I do, bro. That's one thing I don't do, bro. I respect people's comida. I respect. But if you're gonna be a your own, if you're gonna be a your own and tell me what much. are you doing, I mean, I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna expose you to do what you're doing. Better. I think. I think, but to me, bro, I, I mean, that my shit is, I like to film the cops, dog. Like, I like to put the camera out there on the ass because right. they're always doing that. Hope you don't and that's street vendors for money to is, bail you out. I get it. I get it. Yeah, that's, sure. that's hey, what I he does. I might just stop doing podcasting and become an auditor. There fucking. you go, fool. Hey, 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 and then I'm you're going to have me for this battle. Like oh, come oh, on. I'm going to have people with you. Never mind. Hey, I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody, bro. This is not for everybody. And if you're ready to go and if, you, and if you're ready to go to jail, bro, you have to go to jail. Yeah, because this guy, you know, gets money from street vendors. That's why he's okay to go to jail. Hey, brother, appreciate the phone call. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Please leave your message ah, for... I'm not fucking talk too much. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I dog. I just got out, too. They recognize my ass. Please leave your message for seven. Ah, hey, homie, you ranked it out on the. He made sure to uh, promote himself. <laughs> you ranked it. It is luck. Shit, come on, guy. This guy was already literally saying, All right, guys, well, I'm out of here. Uh, let me promote myself a little bit more. Uh, I had 
a no map for fucking four days. Oh, I stay dog. talking shit. I would have been talking no shit. For, bro, I went. I went without map for two days. I want a grievance. Jeez. Oh, 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 yeah. And this is what I hate about oh, narcissists. They cannot stop you talking you about themselves. Yeah, they yeah. love it. They have to do it as much as they can. This guy knew that this guy was getting views, so he said, "You know what? Let me call in and promote myself." I think you're at the at the yard. Hey, yeah, yeah. We we hey, we put the yard down. Yard down. Yeah, we put the yard down, right? Oh, yeah, Man definitely. Down. Please leave your message <laughs> for... <laughs> There's no coming back from this. There's no coming back from this. Yeah, we put the yard down, homie. Uh, they wanted the heat, homie? All right, all right, homie. You got any more... Dead. Co- You're dead. Yard up. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it up. Oh. Uh, uh, the caller... What? No. Uh, uh, the more caller? They don't want to call. We can, we can go, homie. To me, to me, I think... Uh, uh, please leave your message good? for 7 4 7 2 7 this nine, guy's, eight. Eight. This guy's busting the blue devil on me. Call the caller. Call the forklift operator. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the forklift. Shout out to all the forklift. Should I be driving oh, yeah, that shit? I was one call too. Caller, caller, was this? Okay, I think we might be just get through. Go ahead, go ahead. Ah, here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Caller, 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 was this? Caller, hello there. I hang up again. No, it's hotline, hotline. That's oh, hotline. Why that's why they're not answering. Yeah, yeah. That's why they're not answering. I have all the haters. Oh, there you go, South Central Audit. Help me. What's good, Playboy? Hotline, hotline. The fuck. No, there you, there you right go. There. Talk to us. That's what I said. He, he, that's what I said. He don't respect the chat. He respects the chat. <laughs> <laughs> caller, caller. Who's Please this? leave your message for seven four. Very low. Oh no, yeah. fool! Hey, we can barely. Please leave your message for seven. Tank, fool! Get out of the bathtub, carnal. Uh. <laughs> Let me mute these fools. <laughs> Please leave your message for seven four. Hey, do you guys think he has my number? He, and Blue Devil gave it to him and told him, "Hey, here, block this number so he never calls into your show." Like he he tried to call to mine. <laughs> Please leave your message for seven. Come on, come on, guys. We're we're at call eleven, people. Call eleven. Please leave your message for seven. Fucker. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, guys. Please leave your message for. <sighs> Maybe they, 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 I think he's actually they talking. Talk about to hey, who else on the YouTube yard is doing what we're doing as a platform, dude? Giving turkeys away, hey, doing handball tournaments, doing stuff. For the <laughs> what did I say? Like, what did I say? Like, turkeys, you, turkeys, man. giving out turkeys hey, in a handball tournament. You, you, you can, <laughs> what did I say? That's all this motherfucker can say. Like I said, you guys are doing this because you're having fun. You can tell. You guys sure. laugh. You have a good time. You guys actually take your family out, I'm sure, on the yes, weekends. You know, these fools, these, fools, these fools are tucked in their mommy's basement or their tia's <laughs> couch laying on there. On the computer, on the phone, they don't Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Do you guys hear this guy? This guy is fucking. Oh, he's all up in there. They're the losers of the yard, fool. They're the losers. They got no no store, no nothing. (laughs) But this one will never call out him and ask ask Gil, hey, you you were at the Lowrider show. You knew Marvelous was there. Why why didn't you go and talk to him? Why did you avoid him throughout the whole show? He's not going to do that. Mom, I bet you he's not, because he's not trying to make him look bad. He knows he can make him look bad, but he won't. He won't. And that's the problem that uh, people support, like, these weak men. You don't, un- you don't understand. You don't understand, Mom. Uh, Americans told on his friends are talking shit about me. Look at that. Look at that. This is how, this is how a weak man talks. Just like that. For sure. For sure. Hey, man. Crazy. Hey, hey, that's the, hey, you know what? A real talk, though, man. It's good to have receipts. You had ammunition I all been, this time. Bro. I bro, you, it was the same thing he's had yeah, been showing been, before. Hey, Gil, so this Gil, is this is funny. Boo, boo, you guys been all, you, know, you guys been classy, bro. You've been Thank classy. You. Thank you. How is you this know, you, you're classy? Classy. This guy said you this. you guys are classy. You're putting pictures, personal pictures of a of a man's family. How is that classy? You tell me who who considers that classy? Putting up personal pictures of another man's family. Thank you. 
Yes. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't feel that personal. way you said if they posted you his family online and started talking shit. You don't have nothing personal, against, started, started no. personal no. against against Tony Gay or I anybody don't. else for I that don't. matter. I don't. But what's right is but, right. But, As a man, I'll take yeah. the, I'll take their apology. That's I mean, a good idea. Call West to Coast. Give you a fucking apology. It's like, bro. but if I call West Coast, it, it, yeah, man, Gil is gonna tell him, hey, don't pick up, don't pick up or hang up. I need to get to his actual line so everyone can hear me. And I know Blue Dildo's watching too. Yes, for sure. I know he's watching also, and I know he's gonna react. So we're, we're, I'm definitely gonna look out for hey, brother, that one. I, I appreciate the phone so that man. I could react too. All right, San Jose, tapping in. Let's go. All right, brother. Is there a chance? There's our moment. Hey, hey let's give a big shout out to EI Joseph. All right, guys, ring. If it just might be in it. Hmm. Hmm. Caller, 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 hotline, hotline, hotline. He speaks. Hey, I'm here. You didn't What's let up? me go there, but oh, I'm here now. Fuck. Okay, what hey, you got, Norby? Hey, Gil, say hi to me and to hey. my audience that are watching you right now. Oh, what you got, Norby? Gil, I'm glad you actually took my call. Yeah, I give you more credit what than got, than Blue Dildo. Norbies, what you got? What you got? <laughs> All right, Gil, why don't you, you tell got? the audience why you really didn't want me to be there? Is there a different reason? I'm, I, mean, I, I know mean, there's I, a different I, I, reason, I, I, but you're trying to say that is because I I'm going know. to talk about Tony know. and Marvelous. Why don't you tell me the real retell everybody that's listening right now? Well, why I'm don't I let Norbies be know. here? Because you only call me a troll. That's it. Are you really that scared of a troll? Is, is, is that what you got? No, because it wasn't invite one troll. You got to invite the rest, brother. That's it. That's <laughs> really? the answer. And who is the rest? Let's because go. as far as I know, nobody has the balls Norby, to talk Norby, about you. You're, you're trying you're try, you're try to deflect and go somewhere else. What's next? Okay, well, I, 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 the reason. I, if you, you want, I could literally next? show up at your studio in 15 minutes. And be on your life. You can do whatever you. You can. You would can you do accept me you though? Want, would you nobody's accept me? Scared. Would you accept me? No, nobody's scared. But would no, you accept no, me? No, Norby, I told you. You, 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 you so you're you're still won't let me go. Norby's, Norby's, I, I would, I would not look respectfully. You gotta respect the man's place and everything. Respectfully, no, I, I, bro. West Coast, honestly. is that you, West Coast? Norby, again, you, I know you. I know you're, you're doing your. You want to go? And, you want to go through me. your answer no, the questions? We can do it, Norby. All right, we need one, one at a time, guys. One at a time, because you guys are speaking over each other. This is look. This is this is West Coast graffiti. Respectfully, you need to respect this man's place, and that's it. Unless you're invited, then you come. Well, exactly. You're right. You're totally right, right West Coast. Okay, so this hey, is why I don't asked. Do that, this is why I asked before. And I, and, I, and I gave you the answer. What else you got? Okay, I gave you the answer. What else you got? <laughs> no, come on. Yo, let's go. Yo, let's why, why would you, you Why would you throw West Coast under the bus like that? Knowing that he had been promoting this on his platform, hey, not giving like a fuck about his viewers you, you, you that that about. were hoping to see us talk like men. It, 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 well, we're here. We, let's see. Let's see. If Where's we your apology to his point, audience? Where's your apology to his audience? audience? West Coast, the, the guy sitting audience. literally right next to you. All of a sudden, you, now we're going you to You made West him look. Like, you made him look like a liar that couldn't deliver, even though he had it in the bag. Look, it's okay. It's okay. I'm used to. Yeah, I'm not worried things. about it. It's I'm like not worried. Worried. West Coast, no West Coast, you, you don't have to. You don't have to I, give I, that to him, man. This guy I, threw you under the bus. I'm not it, giving it, it to it's nobody. A, it makes Norby. him look. look it my, makes him look bad. Are, my audience look, are gonna look. Talking about? Look, like, my audience are gonna hear. Like, my audience are gonna hear my answer on Monday. They're gonna hear what it is. Yeah, what are you Monday? Oh, you let him let 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 let. Gil know that answer so you know he doesn't stay wondering no, what I is can't. What I, I gotta get my views I gotta get my views Norby I respect that I respect that West Coast I re, I respect that I gotta that. get my views I, re, I, re, I respect what that what else you got oh, alright Gil so okay so why are you really afraid of me going onto your show what is it is it because I, is it because I'm more knowledgeable than you is because everything you say is a lie is it hey, because Chris, Chris. you're the biggest okay, narcissist okay, on well, YouTube? Go. What what am I saying is a lie? Let's go. Let's go. What am I saying is a lie? Let's run it. All right, let's, let's see. What let's am see. I saying is a lie? Let's see. Wow, there's such a big list. Like you talk let's about go, you talk about marvelous working with uh, informants. Weren't you working with Savage Garden? I mean Savage Studio. Savage Garden? <laughs> where, where was I working with Savage where, Garden? Weren't you working with Savage okay, Studio? Okay, wait, wait. You're, 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 you? you're going from, you're trying to deflect something. Again, you asked me that I lie about Marvis. Did Marvis go on Gunners Collective? Okay. <laughs> yes. 
What did he talk about? <laughs> what did he talk about? Hey, Wait, what are you talking about? Go on Gunner's Collective. Okay, I answered you. What yes did you? No? Oh, I, I already answered you. What did no, you? I no, 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 wait. I, I already when, answered you. No, did, when, wait, wait, wait. When? Were you talking with Savage Studios? Yes or no? I had a conversation with Savage. Uh, yes or no? Yes or no? Out. I don't hold need on, an explanation. Yes or no? It's a simple yes or no. Simple no, yes no, or no. Savage came out and nobody knew what the position was. That's when he did his first interview on, uh, what was the interview he did? 23 and 1. 23 and 1, homie. Okay. Wait, son. so you're, you're saying because he. Saying, you're sitting here saying that I'm a liar. Did Marvelous go with Gunner? Yeah. Did Marvelous go on Pentagram News? Yes. So you're not from no gang, so you don't know the politics, fool. That's the problem with you. you and the play, you, explain and to me why I have guy, to be part of a lawyer. gang to know the politics. Explain to me. Okay, is, is, is it okay for somebody to, to go on a platform with a dropout if you're an active gang member? Well, you did that. What, what, what platform? Were you not talking with Savage Studios? What is he? Again, what platform, was he? Platform, 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 platform. When you don't know somebody's that, oh, you're so, not. so you're, it has you're, to be a platform. Diverse. So it has to be a platform. You, of course, as long as you talk, course. as long as you talk with them behind closed doors, it's okay. Like I, like I said, kids. Like I said. <laughs> oh kids, yes, old man. I go, go ahead, old man. Well, you're trying, you're, you're trying to, you're trying to divert from fucking, from what's the Paragraph News. What? what hey, who, who runs hey, that page? Hey, I'm just doing That's what. That's an NS dropout. I'm, I'm just doing what That's you're an doing, NS Gil. Dropout, I am just doing what you're doing, just better. Yeah, it's an a- again. So you're asking <laughs> when, when Marvelous read the fake paperwork. When Marvelous read the fake paperwork, what was that? And at the end, when he said, "Look, I know this is fake, Gil. Why don't you show your real paperwork so nobody can put this out I know anymore?" That fake? No, we we. But we you edited that part here. out, or, or somebody edited that part out that. for you. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt no, that somebody no, edited no, that out, and you decided yes, not sir. to mention that, or you just didn't know. Yeah, this guy. This Will guy. you ever put your real paperwork out? There you have it, folks. He clicked on me. He clicked on me. He clicked on me. You guys heard it. He hanged up. <laughs> ah. Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you are not, if you are, if you were entertained, please hit the like button. Hit the like button because <laughs> I just destroyed him. <laughs> I just destroyed him in his own life. On Monday, everybody's going to hear my answer, and that's fine. Yeah, to me, listen, when we we started this YouTube thing before anybody had even thought about it, bro. And, yeah, like I said, I had fucking conversations. Yeah, before with, anybody uh, thought about it. Uh, right. I mean, I could, name, I could name names of people who... But you know what's funny? It's funny when I brought up Savage Studio and him talking to him. He says, well, at that time, who knew? Who really knew? Who knew all this stuff? That was exactly what Marvelous said. How am I going to know who the fuck is a dropout? How am I going to know these things? And Gil literally said the exact same thing. But when he says it, it's okay. When he says it, it's okay because I didn't go on a platform of his. I did talk to him. I did have conversations with him. But that's okay. No, Gil. I'm not, I'm not from a hood. I'm not from a gang. But even I know that's not good. That's why you got to be careful who you yeah, talk to. Yeah, and then once you know on it, that's when you fucking back He's sweating. Out. <laughs> this is what we do at Run the Fade, people. This is what we do. We, we, put, we make these guys nervous. I'm going to take this call. <laughs> Caller, your name, yeah, where are you calling from? Hotline, hotline. This is Arturo from San Diego. Arturo from San Diego. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? Norby's is a uh, South Town SD, man. I'm on the comments. I've been watching. Oh, what's <laughs> up, man? Thank I'm you, man. Alive. Appreciate you. Good job, man. Yeah, bro. Let me, uh, I'll give a outside perspective, bro. So first of all, mm. I've met Marvelous last year. Okay. And so everybody knows the homie rode solo. The homie was with his lady. Yeah. He don't have no entourage. He don't have security. Yeah. We were right there in Boyle Heights. Um, and he was cool. You know what I'm saying? I got to take a picture with him. I tried not to bother him too much, but, uh, <clears throat> um, so that's one thing, and he's real. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, um, he's legit. And then as far as Gil, man, come on, man. And that dude who, like you said, that dude who called uh, that auditor, whoever that was. Yeah. Bro, they're not okay. I'm a homie, so I can say it. All right. He's not even a homie dog, so he don't know what he's talking about. Number one, mm. and then number two, West Coast too. That fool's a chump, bro. That fool, man. It's just I don't know, man. I put in the comments, like I said, I'm surprised that uh. 
nobody's checked Gil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as in his own area. Yeah. But um, but he's goofy, dog. He's like he said, he's mad because you know it's a, it's no big deal if you can't be a Chicano. You if you're a cholo, then you're already in the cultura. There it doesn't go. matter. You don't have to be a Chicano. Don't there trip. You there you go. You know he's so worried about what everybody thinks, and um. It's just good, bro. I'm glad you have your channel. It's good to see and hear somebody speaking the truth. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Uh, um, with a good heart, with good intentions. You know what I'm saying? You get, you're you not, I don't see it as gossiping, but, you know, once, uh, uh, and I know it's mainly just responding to his shit, but yeah. typically, man, like, <clears throat> it's cool, like, uh, when you were on here yesterday and just talking about the raza, cultura, cultura yeah. and all that kind of stuff, bro, because, um, yeah, man, uh, um, you know, uh, it's good to address it. But then after that, man, like, I stopped following that for a long time ago. Yeah. And he ain't the G, man. Incredible Javier has been doing um, this kind of content way yeah. before everybody else. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. That's one of the originals, dog. And um, and again, bro, like you said, too, the way Gil, <clears throat> Gil tried to come at uh, Big D, like, where are you from, homie? Like, the way he does that. Yeah. Bro, what? What? <laughs> It makes no sense. He he contradicts yeah. himself yeah. with everything he does. He bro. does. He really does. Because that has nothing to do. Yeah, like you said, what does that have to do with anything? And Big D um, handled it legit, bro. It was on New Year's. We were on live. He jumped on the D. Lou show, and he came at Big D all crazy like that, right? And Big yeah. D was like, you know, he he's uh, I'll, I'll let you know in a minute. Like he didn't let him get to him, and then he told him, and and I was like, bro, you handled that good too. And I, I didn't say nothing to Gil. I was on the live, but I just he he got off. I didn't say anything to him yeah. myself, but because he didn't say anything to me, I was waiting for him to hit me up. But um, yeah. But anyway, man, he's whack, bro. He he's is, whack, man. and he uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, on another topic, real quick. Yeah, man. I haven't been to Oaxaca my, myself, brother, but I've been to um, Veracruz, Cancun, yeah. Morelia, Guadalajara, beautiful places, Tehuacan. Monterrey. Yeah, bro. Uh, Mexico, man, is everywhere I went. Like, that's what I tell people. It is amazing, bro. And yeah. the people, I've been blessed to be treated well by the people. Yes. They're just curious about the way we are. Yeah. And and um, especially, you know, coming from Cali. Yeah. <clears throat> and, uh, but yeah, it's a blessing. And I've been just learning as much as I can, bro. And again, that's I don't want to take too much more time, but I'm glad I'm glad you answered, dog. And I'm glad I got through and I just wanted to. No, nah, man, thank you. I appreciate too, it. They, I appreciate it. All right, Norbies, that's what's up. I'll keep watching. Right Thanks, there. man. Thanks. Have a blessed day, all right? right? Thank you, man. Hey. Thank you. You too, Doc. Thanks. You see, that? That's I needed that, man. I needed that because, of, ooh, this Gil, man. This Gil is fucking... I got I got him hot, though. <laughs> I got him hot. I got him nervous. Boo Boo's feeling color, nervous. Color. Yeah, what's up? Call her, call her. I guess All they're right. still taking calls. Hello? We heard you. Oh, no, that's, a, that's, a, that's a bot, too, right there. Call her, call her. Uh, that's a, uh, hello? Yeah, can we hear you? He wants you to say hello. That's a bot. That's a bot. Yeah, what's up? That, and we're just trying to get one last caller, bro. That's last it, call. Bro. Come on. Make it a good one. Make it a good one. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So I'm glad he remembered call her, call her. my right, number right, because right, I haven't we'll get one. I haven't posted my number, so I'm glad he remembers. Call her, so call her. Hotline, West. hotline. Yeah, what's there up? There you go, there Talk you go. Us. Speak. <laughs> Sorry about that. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I got it in. All right. <laughs> I just got a question for for Gil. Yeah, shoot. Sure. All right. Um, how how much longer do you think? Adam is going to last in this whole youth. All right. So they're talking about Adam 16. This is why I don't get this motherfucker is putting Adam 16, giving him more cloud, giving him more attention because we all know that deep down inside, he, he's waiting for that invite. He's waiting for Adam 16 to say, all right, Gil, you can come on the show now. And he's going to fucking go and fucking crawl to Adam 16's show. But, uh, man. I kind of do want to take calls, <laughs> but my phone's about to die. What was he saying that one? He said, um, all right, well, yeah, he was saying something about Nico. Me, Nico uh, was all pissed off and he was crying. He was like, the me, pause is Nico. Like, the <laughs> pause is Nico. But, that, but that's what uh, a lot of people do when they're just at a certain point of rage and upset. They cry a little bit, bro. And that's where he was at. Yeah, yeah. But no, the, yeah, the, the, the sad part what was he talking about? He can't see that 
Adam is the one that's. Oh, okay. He's talking about it. The guy that uh, I guess dropped him for Adam 16. <laughs> Why do you leave me for Adam 16? All right, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. All right, guys. My phone's about to die. So if you want to be one of the lucky callers, go right ahead because this thing's about to die. And I don't have a fucking charger to charge this shit. Damn. You would think. But, uh, yeah, phones are open. Everything's going. Let me just make sure I connect this to that. Okay, it is. But, yeah, guys, it, it's been an interesting night. I called him out. He didn't want to admit that he was scared. I made him nervous. I made him sweat. I made boo-boo sweat. I got. I made uh, West Coast oh, very this uncomfortable. Guy, man. Chris, man, we got another call, Chris. Now let's see who's calling. Man. No, no, let's not. We're out here, right here. All right, all right. All right. We are. We're, we're gonna start releasing the ciphers. Uh, hopefully, Chris can come. <laughs> I bet he didn't expect me to call him. Just like Blue Dildo didn't expect me to call him. <laughs> this is the American Troll the podcast. Right, right. We're here talking some real, dropping some truth. <laughs> all the haters, homie, keep on hating. Play. <laughs> Ah, that call didn't go through. All right, so he's finally off. <laughs> ah, that was hilarious. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something here. All right, I, I sent some out. Okay, so lines are open. If you want to call in, say have a okay. The famous gangbang girl lefty gunplay. Oh, he got him on there. I should call in and say, hey, Lefty, uh, how do you feel uh, being interviewed by a rat? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That would be, that would be hilarious if this food takes calls. I will, I'm on I'm I'm, I'm I'm a roll right now. I will call into this cocksucker show. Produce all my songs. All those are Cypress. No, you could go through there. Cypress is a sick mind. I like him. I like him. Yeah. Bang now. These guys have literally nothing to talk to this guy about. And this is the thing that Tony said. Like, if you don't know about music, like, all he's going to be able to talk to Lefty is about politics and gang stuff. That's it. With the Sadas the Honchos manage me, dog. And he he manages a DJ. All right, we got another call. Caller, your name, where are you calling from? Ah, I clicked. It clicked, guys. And they embraced me, and I think we're going to go to Houston with D-Baby uh, next week. You know, <laughs> I think uh, I think Hater World is looking at the live chat, seeing if anybody says, Norby's is watching right now. He's on the live. He's watching you guys. He's talking about you. I love I love it when his audience does that. They go on his shit, let him know that we are watching, that we are commenting, and we are reacting on the live. Get the charger. <sighs> Hold on. All right, I'm gonna. I do have a charger, but it, it fucks with the phone, and when I hook it up to my shit, but I'm gonna try it anyways, just so I could charge. I wish I had a, a different type of USB. Uh, let's see. Apparently, I'm getting missed calls, but okay. Hold on, let me see. Um, don't connect to the. Okay, so hopefully it doesn't connect to my to my computer because then it fucks up the whole system. But let's keep listening. Game, bro. There, that's what happens to good hey, boy. If you got bro. a feature from D Baby, you made it. I already got one. You there? Yeah, it's locked in, and, it, and, it, and it's just, it just, it just. <laughs> he keeps looking at the monitor. Hey, if anybody out there, go on his live chat, put on there. Norby's is reacting to your live right now. Everyone can see it. <laughs> just to fuck with them. If somebody can do me the favor and go on there and put that on there, spam it on there so it gets his attention. <laughs> You, you'd be doing me a solid. And if he does take phone calls, we're going to call in and we're going to say what's up. Should I tell uh, Lefty Gunplay that he's talking to a rat? That'd be, that would be interesting. All 
Aside for that, uh, I did put the charger on there. Hopefully it doesn't fuck with the system. If you want to call in, call in. If you got something to say, you got an opinion, you got a thought, an idea, let me know. Uh, thank you to the 140 cent that are viewing. Uh, do me a favor and uh, hit the like while you're there. Uh, <laughs> Ah, that'd be good. I hope this motherfucker taste calls. I feel like calling everyone tonight. Like that's just a boy. Shout out to yeah, him, man. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm. Not, I know. I know the fools are. Yeah, he, music, he, yeah. He, he ain't gonna come. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna come to my spot on the gang. I'm, I'm on time running this shit up. You tell me you don't want to do that, but yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, we got with me and him. This fool just got lefty, y'all. Paranoid. Everybody's looking at the monitor, trying to see. What's going on? Look, Norby's is blessing the live with his audience. <laughs> That's, keep doing that. Keep doing that. <laughs> Call her your name. Where are you calling from? Uh, from North Bay. North Bay. What's Good, up, Norby's. man? Good, man. You're having a blast. We're on these cocksuckers tonight. Ah, uh, man. Well, what happened over there, Norby's? It seemed like they're looking there. It's a man. Oh, man. I mean, which part? Which part? Because, uh, like, La Neta, you, you do know that those are dropout channels, right? And I'm telling you, from someone up north, yeah, you, you do know that boxers are a dropout NF, right? I actually do not. I do not. And like, uh, like American Cholo said, I don't know the politics and the background of it. For me, I see everybody as a regular person. Normal person, I have no idea what kind of background you have, and I'm not even going to try to guess. So look, check this out. As the, the channels that the American Cholo was mentioning, yeah, he ain't wrong about that, bro. All, all those channels are dropped out. Paradigm Media News with the dropout channel. Yeah, you don't you don't believe me? You can go. No, no, it's not that I don't believe you. The the, the, the part is that uh, how if you're from the south, how would you mm -hmm. know? I mean, that, that, that is a good question. That, that, I mean, that's that part right there. Yeah, that's the part. Like the, the YouTube gentleman where everybody knows everything, kind of. <laughs> I think most recently, you know what? And that's the thing. I, I, Me personally, I don't really watch those channels because I don't really think I could get anything off of it. because mm -hmm. Mostly because I can't relate. That That's mostly the mm -hmm. part. Uh, so I tend yeah. not to watch them so much. I mean... Yeah, I mean, even with Marvelous, he doesn't speak on any kind of stuff like that. It's mostly about cultura. It's mostly about community. It's mostly about, you know, uh, health health stuff. But uh, and you know where where Marvelous knew where he fucked up. Um, when he was on that channel, Paradigm Media News, I remember <clears throat> there was a point where they, I think, they even discussed about um. They were gonna try to bring in Marvelous to like teach them about books and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, the next, like the next few days, um, Paradigm Media News, not Boxer, but the dude that does like all the videos for Boxer, his name is Sandman. So I think they might have both went on live, but they did a live, and they people kept asking, "Hey, what, what happened with Marvelous?" You know? Yeah. And then they're like, "Oh, well, you know what? Like, um, uh, with all respect, like Marvelous is gonna." Away from the channel, da, 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 and I think that's where he knew he fucked up. Mm. Because um, you know, I think all the I, yeah, and and, and and just like you, the way you're calling me, the way you're calling me, more than likely somebody called him too. Because like again, it goes back to like, how would we know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you, you just gotta do your research, man. But like, and that's the know, thing like, because uh, you you go on YouTube and you don't really think that that's a thing until you realize, mm -hmm. oh, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay, what happened? Everything really looked like. But that's the thing, though, because it's evolving now. Now, now podcasting mm -hmm. is evolving to the point where, unfortunately, you do have to start asking, like, uh, "Hey, so what's your background?" Because I really need to know before you know I I get an interview from you. And and it's evolving, and things like that happen so that we could grow and evolve and and act accordingly. But look, ask yourself this question, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like um. Say that you were in today in politics, right? Yeah. And I uh, and somebody like just say that you were from Maravilla, right? And mm -hmm. the hypothetically, yeah, yeah. Say that you were from there, right? 
and they and someone from up north called you and be like, hey, do you want to do an interview? Are you just going to hop on right away or are you going to do a little bit of research before you hop on? Well, here's the thing. And, 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 and mind you, Marvelous has been in, in, in YouTube. You know, a lot. Of, he's no, been under a lot of doing a lot of interviews. Account. And me, me personally, if I didn't know anything about how YouTube worked, if I didn't know that there were actually channels that had people like that on there, if I didn't know any mm-hmm. of that stuff, why would I have a problem with being going on somebody's platform to speak on the cultura and to speak on health and to speak about community? You know, things that mm-hmm. that should matter to us. Well, why why would I why would I think like oh this guy might be like some sort of like dropout or something like that 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 wouldn't come to my mind because in reality what I just want to do is just spread knowledge and and spread positivity and and spread uh the, the health because that that's all that really matters but and then and the unfortunate part is that people like like that guy that you talked about you know they get a camera they get a mic they they learn how to do certain things and mm-hmm. they're able to do these kinds of shows but somebody that doesn't know people from from the northern part of the state is going to be very difficult to assume and uh and think that that's a possibility but look I'm, I'm gonna try to counter tell you with this one go for it but, like it's just common sense rather to say that when you go to a job interview you don't know nothing about the company yeah. you're just gonna randomly show up and give your guess no say that again say that again say if you have a job interview right mm-hmm. whatever let's just say I don't know, you're going to go into an organic store. Okay. Like an organic grocery store. All right. Don't you, don't you think in your mind, maybe you should do some research about organic stuff before you walk into that store? Are we talking about a grocery or store? Could, yeah. I mean, any, it, like, it's the same thing. Like, what I'm trying to tell you is that, yeah. why don't you do your research on a channel before going on there? Yeah, if you knew that that was things like that was going on, yeah, you definitely knew you would if you knew things like that was going on. Now, let's say you didn't know any of that stuff was going on. You, you let's say you talk a guy from the south tells you, "Hey, I, you you speak positive stuff. You you speak a lot of good stuff that we need our people to hear. Could you come on my channel and just speak on those things? That's it. Just speak on that thing. No, no, nothing political. Nothing about." Gangs just speak on the cultura, speak on knowledge, and speak about health. That that sounds like but a I'm, very I'm uh, tempting about, offer, right? I'm talking to you just like a, like a, a normal background. I think anybody in the right mind just does a little bit of research before you go into something and something like because that's what I that, that's why I mentioned to you the job thing. Yeah, like say you go into a job interview, in whatever company, trucking or whatever, you ain't just gonna randomly show up and just like. You gonna go go at it, right? But you, you know that yeah. the question is gonna get thrown out there, like, "Hey, yeah. do you know, well, you know why are you here? Yeah. Well, what you know about this organic store? Or hey, what do you know about trucking? You, you're not gonna yeah. be like, oh, well, you know what? I do drive a Honda Civic. Yeah. And now let, let me counter <laughs> that by say, let, let me counter that by saying, you 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 seen you seen people, right? You seen society. You seen this country society, right? Mm-hmm. Do any of them, the majority of them, the majority of them, do any of them do their research on the job they take? Yeah, man, no reason. I don't know, man. Like me personally. No, but you know, so so you seen you seen people. You seen these people that work at McDonald's, work at Food for Less, mm-hmm. work at Rouse, work at Costco. You seen them. Do you believe that these guys did their research when they go they went to go and get a job over there? Probably not, you know. That's what I'm saying. Nobody, nobody, nobody really does that. Unless you went to college, unless you went to a specific career, then you probably will because you want to check out the benefits. But the majority of society does not check any kind of background of the job they apply for. They just need the money and they just want to work. Uh, Marvelous is not that kind of person. You know what I'm saying? I I can't really say... If he is or not, because I'm not marvelous, and that that would be something. No, but I'm saying, he's from Maravilla, right? You should have that street knowledge of like, or like you know, anybody would have like some kind of street knowledge. And like, oh, you know, I'm just gonna miss Ayi. And that is very true. But you would have to agree that that would be true, depending on your where you live. You will know the areas that you live around, not 
and the other side of a state, correct? I mean, if you're checking around your neighborhood, what do you want to check around? Like? But that's what I'm telling you. You you will know you, the people around your area that you probably shouldn't be around. You will know that, right? You're, you're the locals. But you wouldn't Wait, know. You would know the people that you shouldn't be around with that are locally around you. You would already know that, right? You and your your crew would would know that information. But well, you, when I go downtown, I know what areas not to go into. Yeah, but you know, okay, though, that's I, one I, place. I, I'm not. Now let's talk about you know? now let's talk about Arizona. Let's talk about Utah. Let's talk about Nevada. Let's talk about but Montana. But I'm trying to say is that. You're never ever gonna really know where you can and can't be, and where who you can and can't talk to. You're never really ever gonna really know that answer, mm -hmm. and you really can't blame somebody for not knowing that much information. Yeah, but like you know, with our background. But like I said, you know, this is a process of podcasting where <laughs> obviously he know he knows, and everybody else knows. That you got to check somebody's background now, because of all these things that have happened. We we have learned our lesson, and we are growing, and we're evolving, and we're getting better, and hopefully to a point where we do do what Marvelous wants to do, and spread cultura, and spread knowledge, and 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 spread health, because that's what we really need. We don't need these fucking these leeches like Blue Dildo and fucking American Chola that all they want to do is start fights. All they want to do is talk, talk shit about the next man because they want their views to go up because they literally have nothing else to talk about. You think it's a episode better with the photos? Oh yeah, dude. Well, dude, I mean, come on. You tell me, would you do something like that? Would you put another man's personal family pictures on a live so that everybody can see it and talk shit about them? Are you, would you do that? You, you asking me that question? Yes. No, I would. I, I, I thought I'm going to say the right I, I, I wouldn't do that either. Dude, that, that actually pissed me off. That, so, that this guy had the nerve to actually do something like that. Like, his you, wife wouldn't so appreciate it. They showed his his kids and his grandkids so everybody can see and, and just mock them in front of everybody. Yeah, like, even though I don't agree with some of the stuff you say, you know, at the end of the day, man, I think there is some... That was bad. That know, was there is bad. a line, you know? There like, is a line, and he and definitely crossed that, it. And I think when I saw that, I was like, damn, this was really, like... And I'm, like, gonna, like, I'm gonna be very shocked if he doesn't get checked for that, because I, I don't, you don't have to be from a hood to know you don't talk about another man's family like that. No, and not just that, you, you just don't post them online and be like, well, like, da -da -da, you know, like, whatever, yeah. whatever you have beef with them, you know, handle it, you know? Yeah. But, like, when you start bringing his kids and his grandpa or, like, whoever was in those pictures, yeah. I don't know to catch, catch who, who was in it, but, like, I did see, like, that was his family. I was like, God damn, this was his episode. But you time. know what his excuse is going to be? Well, I already took it down. Nobody can see it. So, mm -hmm. no, no harm, no foul. Uh-huh. Or no foul, no harm, you know? That's what he's gonna do. He's yeah. just gonna say that he, he took it down. He regretted it, and he's gonna say he regretted it, and it wasn't right that he did that, and that's why he took it down, because that's always been his excuse. Uh, and I think he said the the video was only gonna go on members, but you know, at that point, then that shit can just get clear, clear, yeah. clear. But then, and I'm sure it will. Like, I'm sure it shit. is. I'm sure it is already. Yeah. Yeah, so, dude. All right, all, right. all right, man. Thank Thanks you. So hey, I appreciate you, man. I really do, man. Ah, pues, man. Thank you. So that was a good call. And I'm glad that he was, he talked to me that way where he said he wanted to counter. And I appreciate when somebody can say that because I do want to hear the counter. I do want you to make me think. And because that, that's what we got to do. We got to make each other think. We got to be able to step back and say, well, wait a minute. He might have a point or maybe I could bring this point and he might agree with it but uh let's see if we made this guy nervous i've seen the loonies one man the fools are going yeah. crazy with it doing the rope and they're jumping over there i'm oh, like the fence? dang loonies yeah. was turned back then Facts. you seen that shit back then i've seen that shipping on this pro i watched this shit a couple times that yeah. shit's hard they're tripping yeah they're, they're, that's boring when somebody said they're tripping 
<laughs> Anyways, but yeah, guys, line is still open. Let's see. It's about 826. We actually went pretty early today because thankfully American Chola decided to go early also. Um, it was wow. I know I got him numbers. And you know what? You know what? I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad we actually called him. Oh, we got another call. Caller, your name. Where are you calling from? Hey, what's up? This is Daniel from Santa Maria. Daniel from Santa Maria. What's up, man? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> hey, what's going on? Uh, <coughs> so I was wondering, because uh, uh, I think last time we talked, you, you mentioned uh, we got into like a little debate about um, about the Bible. Okay. And uh, I, you know, I just want to ask you a quick question. This, um, I, you know, just out of curiosity, you know, nothing crazy, but yeah, <clears throat> like, do you actually believe, like? In a sense, like leaned more towards Satan. Satan. Yes. Well, I mean, he's an angel. I mean, I I don't I don't I actually dislike all angels. I have no favorite towards uh, any kind of angels. And uh, Satan is just uh, okay. another angel. <clears throat> yeah. Well, maybe you're buzzed that night or something. <laughs> but you seem yeah. like really like you're like. <laughs> no, you know what? Again, uh, and I'm glad you you brought that up because you know. For me, you everyone has to realize the Bible wants to say that we have free will, right? Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, we know that's not true, right? <clears throat> we we're gonna have to pay the piper if we fucking if, if we if we do wrong in this life, right? Yeah, that's true. You know, like you follow but, the Ten Commandments, exactly. Like the um, exactly seven deadly sins. Yep. You know? But, Those are like the basics right there, I think. You know? But you look at that Bible, you read it, and you see that angels always got away with whatever the fuck they wanted to do. They didn't even have to listen to God. They can disobey God. You, somebody that probably has morals, do you feel that you have the power to disobey God? Well, I probably, I mean, it depends, you know, like, would you, would you, it just depends on what the would you speak out against like, God? You think of like the, I, I, I don't know, you know, like honestly, like people do though. If you look at like a, some of the 12 disciples, you know, there, I was just watching this, it's called The Chosen. Yeah. And basically uh, Simon, he's one of the disciples, he kind of like starts calling against God because what happens was um, his uh, wife, Eden, she yeah. had miscarriage, but she didn't tell him for like a whole month. Yeah. So. <laughs> cases like that yeah you know you okay. probably yeah. can call against god but eventually you gotta like learn to be sorry you know yeah and you know and, and that does happen and that does happen and we learn our lessons right right <laughs> let me ask you That's did, true, did those it's angels it's that it's got time, locked though, up learn their lesson I mean, you know, they say the devil is locked in uh, like a thousand feet below the earth for like a thousand years. So who knows? You know what I mean? Well, let me ask you this. If you had a brother that was locked up and you had the power to free them, would you free them? I don't know. You know, I mean, the law is the law, but, yeah, but you, you know, we, yeah. I, I mean, it just depends on, you know, what is the situation like? Did yeah. you know he was innocent or something? Or yeah. was it like for something petty? You know, like he maybe had a few strikes and he stole a piece of pizza, right? Yeah. Now he's in jail for life, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> so like, yeah, you know, if I in had the sense, power, yeah. it would just depend, you know? Yeah. Because you got to be fair about it. Because right? when you but, think about it, if you had the power, but you knew he was bad, so you just keep him with you, locked up with you so that, you know, he doesn't hurt anybody else, right? What I'm trying to say is that the only pe the only creatures that were able ever able to defy God were angels. We we yeah, we, 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 we might that, we might cheat, we might steal food, we might even steal money, but at the end of the day we ask for forgiveness. These guys do not ask for forgiveness. They just do what thou wilt. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd have to look into that more. Yeah, you know, yeah, but, I look into that you because know, when you think of like, yeah, you think of like uh, free will, and then like uh, a lot of times it's like it's usually um, it's more like a there's a foundation, I think, and even though like you can um, <clears throat> like say I was saying earlier about the devil, he's you know, yeah. <clears throat> 
you know, pretty much persecuted, you know, mm-hmm. but because his plan is still in works, you know. Cause well, here, let me, let me ask you, let me ask you, in the Bible, angels taught humanity how to make weapons from metal, how to use magic, how to use dark magic, right? They, they, they even loved humans so much that they started having kids with them, right? This is what angels did, well, right? For my, I mean, once they, again, I'd have to look more into it because yeah. I mean, have you ever heard of a Saint Saint Jerome? Saint Jerome, no, no. If you could uh, la- uh, give us a little <laughs> background so, on that, because when when you t- well, Saint Jerome, he's the only one I'm really familiar with, and because uh, his story I can kind of relate to. So, yeah. <clears throat> Saint Jerome, he like he studied the Bible very well, but yeah. he was one of those guys who just wasn't an easy guy to get along with. Like for the most, he was always full of anger and yeah. <clears throat> he would think like outrageous things to do to people, even though he didn't actually commit them. Yeah. <clears throat> there were still thoughts in his mind. Yeah. So uh, what, what he did to become a saint is he uh, beat himself on his chest with a rock. Yeah. And he would like, every time he'd get a bad thought, he would beat himself on the chest. Yeah, kind of like a sadist. <laughs> and, and then, yeah, then so in that sense, he kind of like beat all the anger out of himself, and that's how he became a saint. Mm. From my understanding, you can correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I might have to suggest that to American Cholo. <laughs> <laughs> but no, what, but what is what I'm sorry, go ahead. What are those people anyway? Which one? You, you guys are like in, uh, like all these guys who you're like beefing with because of. Uh, you know, as far as I know, I've only watched like Rodium Radio. Yeah. And, I you. mean, I've seen some other stuff here and there, yeah. but <clears throat> really what it was was just like my own love for hip hop. Yes. And I knew who Tony A was yeah. in terms of, you know, his album with High C back in the day. Yeah. And then he had like DJ Quick and he had Second and End. So that's really how me personally I tuned in. But uh, I, I never like yeah. <clears throat> got into it through the internet. But, you know, honestly, I think <clears throat> one, one thing I hear a lot of what like so, well you guys don't always say this but sometimes you hate on DJ Brad but you gotta remem- remember or yeah. you gotta at least admit like he's got pretty some pretty good interviews I mean he's got some raunchy ones with you know people we don't know of but then he's got some pretty legendary stuff as well yeah so, and, I, and, I, and I do give him credit for the fact that he has the balls to like say what's really on his mind and ask the questions that really need to be asked yeah. and then that's and for us yeah. We uh we we consider those things a taboo, which I think we shouldn't. I think we yeah, should I, be able to like talk to these people. I I'm willing to talk to all these people the exact same way this guy does. But um, uh, but going yeah. back to what we were talking well, about, that's, that's I, going back to what we were talking yeah, about, angels. Angels. Now, yeah. if angels yeah. did win this war, because I I spoke about this war uh last night between the angels and the dragons. If the if the angels won the war. This world would be a representation of their victory, right? So, I mean, when, I when you a, look at, I don't know what war you're talking when, about, but <laughs> it's a it's a war. You have to go look at last night the, last night's <clears throat> live to know about that. But if they did win a major uh, war, okay. you would That's see it. you would see symbols of of them everywhere, right? Because uh, to you know, the, I mean, the, the, the winners depends, write the history, you know, right? Like Sort of, but I, from my understanding, uh, like for instance, in the, the Catholic religion, yes, a lot of what they do is based on symbolism. Yeah, I don't know how I could put that into perspective with what you're talking about. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I that's the thing, and and that's just another one of those more those mysteries that there's symbolism like that, and there's things that we still don't understand. Why did the Catholic Church burn a lot of the books from the indigenous people in Americas? What did they not want I mean, them to share? Or you learn? know, you're talking like thousands of years, thousands of years of history. I mean, mm-hmm. with, you know, something like that, you'd have to really just study and do it. Oh yeah, figure all that out. Yeah. You know? And it's all about putting it's the a, pieces a, together. Uh, that's true. You know, yeah. that's I kind of like if I do read books, mostly I just read fact i just i can't get much out of fiction i can't get much out of journalism i can't get much out of the news you know 
you know, I mean, it's just if you want to go right to the source, you just got to go right for the gut. Like yeah, they say, you, you know? do. And uh, but uh, you know what I noticed the difference <clears throat> is perspective. Perspective makes a big difference because when most people would read the oh, Bible yeah. to find their way to God or to learn how to have better morals, it might actually be a history book. Hey, might actually hey, just be a history hey, book. Hey man. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh, hey, I gotta go. So, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right man. <laughs> Thanks for calling, hey, man. I appreciate Bye. you. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah. No problem, man. But uh, yeah, I like to getting into those kinds of conversations because I do really believe that that actually did happen. I mean, you know, the writings on the wall. Homies, yeah, fools were getting lined up in the county. Fools were, you know, pressing on fools, banging on fools. Ah, what I say, know, jail you know, stuff. Serious like that. You can't talk about music stuff because you don't have any kind of music history. So what are you? What is he gonna talk about? Jail stuff. Caller, your name and where you are calling from. What up, Norby? This is Snowman. How you doing tonight? Ah, uh, shit, Snowman. What's up, man? Hey, are you going to call into uh, Blue Dildo show tonight again? I tried tuning in. Uh, I, I'm, uh, Zeus is cool, but uh, it, it didn't get too too far. You know what I mean? The, you know what? His life was getting short. fucked up like mine's also. it was My my life was also, I don't know. I think there was a problem with YouTube or Spectrum. I don't know. But I do Damn, see that his number crazy. is up. I might even make an attempt and call this fool. Yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah, I I was watching your show as well and uh, got cut short. So I was like, dang, I was a, I was like, man, I was, I was, I wanted to watch it. But yeah, it's it's all good. But I was calling uh, to to tell you I was going to call in when you were originally going to go uh, to American Cholo, and I was oh, going to okay. tell you that I was going to tell you that when Donald Trump goes somewhere. He takes he takes his uh his boys his, yeah. his crew his security yeah. you know so I was gonna advise you to take you know some trustworthy people there if you were to go yeah I'm tuned out I don't I don't really know what happened but that's what my advice would have been Thank and you. if he's advocating for gang banging yeah he already lost yeah. if American Cholo is you saw that huh you saw that huh <laughs> he already lost you know because yep. to me he's a politician so. You would have had to, you know, take a few notes before you went for yourself, yeah, you know, and yeah. just confronted it like a politician would. Yeah, pretty much. And, and I, I like to think that the call I did on his show pretty much proved that I could definitely handle him. And I did pretty much make him look bad because I, I already pretty much reversed everything that he said. I, I gave him the reverse Uno card and he, he couldn't do anything else. He had to hang up on me. Dang. Well, if we're going off of skin color, you know, you're the, you're the downest fool. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate that. And shout out to the caller before. I don't know his name, but I call him Surfer Dude. Yeah. Surfer Dude is cool. Yeah, he is, man. <laughs> hey, no, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, man. Hey, last thing. Last thing I wanted to add, um, you know, this might maybe a little personal question, but, you know, since skin color did come up, yeah. When in your family, have you experienced like the lighter skin cousin, brother, relative gets the trophy award in the family? Like, oh, like, you know, consentido more than you because of your skin color? No, no. Surprisingly, actually, in that hasn't happened until now because I have nieces and, and you know, my family's here. But as far as I could tell, my family, we all stayed in those mountains for like, like hundreds of years, uh, we're, 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 we're uh, there's a lot of us up there, a lot of us up there. And we've been there for hundreds of years. It's rare that we will come out of those mountains because right there you had everything. You had animals to eat. You had fruits growing everywhere. You had vegetables growing everywhere, everywhere. You had fish, you had, you had everything. It was, it, it's paradise. So we really didn't need a good reason to leave that place until, you know, the, the world started coming by way of a, of a, of a pueblo. A, a pueblo that is literally all ta tall white people. Okay? This, this pueblo was created by the, the ancestors of the Spanish that came over there. There's only one pueblo in all of Oaxaca 
way up top in the mountains with us that the descendants are the descendants of the Spanish conquerors that they posted up up there. They, I, I still don't know why they made that village because it's way up in the mountains where there's literally nothing but jungle. There's literally jaguars and pumas that live there. Why these people decided to set up shop there, I have no idea. It's a total mystery to me. Man, I like the knowledge. I like the cultura. Keep it up. Thank you, man. And uh, News with Norby's is my new CNN. I have it on one TV, laptop, another, hopefully a tablet soon. Hey. But News with Norby's is, is the new CNN. I there appreciate that, man. All right. Right. Except I'm not, I, hey, I don't support Democrats, just <laughs> just to put it out there. <laughs> no, no. Fox News <laughs> They only have hot chicks. If I want to see a hot chick reporting the news, I'll put it on Univision, Telemundo, hey, and Fox News. That's right. They got them big booty yeah. girls. All right, Norby. All right, man. Thank Bye. you, mate. Appreciate you. Bye. That was a great call. Appreciate that. All right, let's go to the live chat because my live ch- my live chat on my screen actually froze. I can't. It doesn't, it's not updating itself for some reason. Maybe if I just turn it off and on. Where the hell is it? Okay, we got another caller coming through. Caller, your name, where are you calling from? Hey, what's up, Norbies? I'm calling from East LA. East LA, what's up, man? How's it going? Oh, uh, pretty good, man. Like, I just I, I want to tell you something, okay, like, Go for I it. I was man. watching Norris and Cholo's podcast. Yes. And like, the one you just did for like an hour. Um, I get that. Uh, a lot of you guys are going at it, have issues with each other, going back and forth. But what I don't like about American Cholo, that he crossed the line tonight yes. by pretty much trying to put an unofficial green light on Marvelous to get locked up in county jail that we could try to get at. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Because you, you, you were coming in and out. Can you say that again? county jail like a week ago and they checked his paperwork yeah and the, i get that all you guys have issues yeah but when american troll we have a dude who claims to be about helping uplifting the community yeah. he needs to be better at that and he's not he's a liar because my question is this if american troll if he was here i would ask him this how come you're causing all these madmen amongst ourselves we're going to whack 100 went to his house he chickened out yeah he chickened out where, where, was that energy? where is that energy right yeah where was that energy but for him to pretty much tell the surrenials that when marvelous hits la county that they should move on him because that's what he's doing yeah but you know what was crazy about american cholo is he himself has said in the past that if cholos or just gang members get caught with a gun that they should get thrown in jail yeah he, he did say that he said that Okay. He did. So it's like something try to like try to gang for one moment, then try to throw gang in prison, and now you're it's like you try to be all total around Wait, wait, can you, you say know? that again? Because you're 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 fading in and out. Uh can you move somewhere okay. where you have what a stronger signal? Okay. What I what I'm saying is what's crazy about American Total you seen everyone only to push himself. You know? Yeah. It's like, he said, dude, like, if you get caught with a gun, you're a gang member, you get thrown in jail. Dude, like, how, how, if you're a gang member, how can you support him? If yeah. He thinks like that, but yeah, when he needs to gang back up, he's you know. But what I think right now with a murder control of his, he's lying in, and, you know, I don't know. But the thing is, I don't know about smart, because he pretty much put a contract on him on his show. Yeah. That was he he yeah. played with his life. You know, and, and then when, when 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 shit hits the fan and that he comes on the American tour, he's gonna run run and hide and be oh, I'm about peace, I'm about peace. But come on, bro. 
Yeah. Like, I get that you guys have issues with each other, but not once have I heard, like, Tony or even Blue Devil advocate, like, killing somebody. Yeah. I've never heard that. Yeah, and that's, well, that's what you got from this. Crossed the line. Yeah. But he crossed the line. He pretty much put a hit out on Marvel. That's what he did. Jeez. And for him to say he's about, I thought he's not. He's yeah. a liar. He's using all of these trolls. Jeez. And all these trolls that support him, yeah. they should ask themselves, how can we support someone who said that if we get caught with a gun, we should get thrown in jail? Uh, like, come on, like, like, how can you? You're an active. Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm looking control let me down, and I get it. The, like, whatever issues you guys have amongst each other, I get it. It's competition, but not once have I ever heard any other guy yeah. say we should like pretty much put a hit out on somebody. Yeah. Not even I know, like you, know, you and Blue Devil have issues, but not once have I heard Blue Devil say we need to take this guy out. Yeah. Not like, once. come on. Not once. And, and, and what a hurt control is, he's disgusting, and and like. Like, Rasa needs to wake up to what he's really trying to do. I agree He's trying you. to manipulate. And what Rasa needs to think is this. Why is he going to, to this level? Yeah. But when, look at Marvelous has never gone to his house the way WAC 100 did. So yeah. yet he wants to put a hit out on Marvelous? Yeah. But yet the guy who disrespected him at his house, which was WAC 100, he, he was like, you know, tucking his tail between his legs and running away? Facts. Come on. Yeah. That's the real stuff. And I want everyone to just think about everyone who has issues. Issues are going to happen in this podcast world. But not once has any one of you, Tony, Blue Devil, anyone who you uh, disagree with has ever publicly put out a hit on somebody. Yeah. Like like to get nobody. them killed. Yeah, That's what American Choro has eaten more of. And think about this, Rafa, to everyone hearing this. What was that energy with with WAC 100 when he went to American Cholo's house? Did he put a hit out on WAC 100? No, he was scared. But yet he wants to just put out hits on our own people. And this is the guy who claims to be about helping the community? Yeah. Like, come on. Wow. He's not. He's a liar. Yeah. He's a liar. I want everyone to think about that. When anyone sees Gil in his face, tell him. Why is he trying to put hits out on people? But on WAC 100, he let him slide. That's what I want everyone to ask. American to see him. Damn. Thank you very much. Dan, no, thank That's you. Thank you. Day. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Have a blessed day, man. Thank you. Wow. You, you know what? It's crazy because I ne- I didn't see it from that perspective, but he saw the show, and this is what he got from it. And I mean, if, if the way he puts it, if that's the way, if that exact, that is exactly what Gil did. I mean, aside from putting Marvelous family pictures on his life so that everybody can see it, so everybody can laugh at them. I mean, he crossed way too many lines tonight, and I'm glad everybody was able to see this. I'm glad tomorrow people are going to see this. I'm, he's definitely going to have to make a statement because honestly, he did fuck up. Gil, you really fucked up tonight. I mean, I took it as as, as, a, as fun game, but you you made it worse. Caller, your name? Where are you calling from? What's up, Norbies? It's Jay. Jay from South Texas. What's up, man? What's up, man? Hey, how do you rate your car there with uh, American Chardo, man? I rated the same way I rated the the one I had with Blue Dildo. <laughs> fun and exciting. <laughs> it was it was uh it was entertaining that, 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 that were you that. were you entertained jay yeah i was entertained yeah good that's exactly what i wanted that's like, i wanted to entertain you and i want to entertain everybody it's too bad he hanged up on me because i wanted to keep going and see where it went yeah yeah for sure um uh you felt you felt to bring up a point um but I get it, you know. It was it was it was in the it was in the moment of. It was I mean, I probably life, would but, have uh, eventually, but you know, he hanged up on me. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that, man. But um, a, a good point that that you could have brought up was that this is that this guy shouldn't even be on YouTube in the first place. You know, let's start there. Well, I mean, they make that let's, promise. Let's, if he didn't get that hundred k, he would be out. That was a lie. Yeah. So yeah. So. So this dude really, you know, he was going to try to con or blackmail his way into YouTube, right? But yeah. 
when he saw that he didn't get the people to 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 uh to buy it, he said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna stay anyway." So, so that that's that's you know. Well, bro, yeah, he he tried to blackmail. He tried to blackmail me tonight by saying if I didn't take down the video I did of him, he was gonna release all these things about Tony and Marvelous. This guy literally, on his own live, tried to blackmail me. <laughs> and, and this, yeah, and uh, two, you know, this is a dude that, what, maybe a year, two years ago, just stopped saying. The N word, you know yeah, exactly. Sure. Or, or as far as we know, he doesn't say publicly anymore. Can we say that for for other for other politician shit that you talk and all that bullshit? You know what I mean? Yeah. And for for grown ass man to you know to still to still use that word, um, that's low level. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you agree? I mean, I don't say it. I I never really liked the word. I I mean I will even tell black people can can we get rid of that word and just call you guys brothers, call you guys call your your female sisters, you know because you guys deserve it after everything you guys gone through. I mean, mind you, we probably deserve something like that too because we went through a lot of shit. But you know, they they they, they deserve a better word for them to describe them. Them yeah. calling each other yeah. the word. I never really liked it. I, I always, I, I've always been confused by why, how they, they, but you know, like they say, it, it, we made it our word and I got to respect that. I got to respect that. Yeah. And, um, this dude, this dude says that, <laughs> uh, Marvelous is a Miklo, but I think he's the original. Uh, I think, I think American Cholo is the original confused as Miklo because, you have a you have you have an Hondureño, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. That, I know where you're going. I know where you're of, going. That, 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 you have an you have an Hondureño that in front of Adam Twenty Two, he was okay with Adam uh, thinking he was Mexican and not checking him on that. No, 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 he wasn't. And and, and uh, that happened maybe like two or three times. Yeah, where he got where he got confused for Mexican. Mm-hmm. And he was okay with with just running with running with yeah, it. Yeah, he did that when the tiger this, thing this, too. On the tiger thing, he, this, he also this, said he made this, it. Yeah, bro. Throughout that whole shit, he was okay with people thinking that he was Mexican. But you know why? So that he can crash the Mexican people with the black. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, that's not his people, right? Yeah. So he was okay. He was okay. But but listen. Why is this dude talking about Chicano this, you know, Mexicans this? Why doesn't he talk anything about his own country, bro? I mean, I'm not, look, when like, you when like, you look at it, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, 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 go, go, I'm sorry. Well, I'll tell you one thing. When you look at Honduras' history, as far as uh, its government, its, uh, its politicians, its history with its people, its history with the people from El Salvador, uh, they don't have a very good record for themselves. Uh, they 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 are known that that country is known for making a lot of deals with the U.S. Uh, they are known for exploiting people from El Salvador to work their lands and not paying them what they deserve. They 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 have a lot of things to to uh, I guess you know what's the word? They got a lot of things that they gotta you know answer to. Because I think some people from El Salvador yeah, yeah. will tell you, like, you know, my family worked farms in Honduras and were mistreated. And this is history. This is fact. You could look that up, and that did, really did happen. So people from Honduras, they don't really have a good reputation. This is, and this is one of the reasons why the people that are crossing the border right now are people from Honduras, are people from Venezuela, yeah. are people from uh, even... even um, I forgot the other one, but let me, but I let, 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 me, let, me, let, let me let me let me interject. Let me interject go, really quickly, so I, so, I, so I don't forget the point. But look at the hypocrisy, right? Because look at what you just said. That and, and it's true, right? Uh, I agree. Yeah. That you know, people coming over the border are really Central American. Uh, a lot of them, right? Not every. There's people from everywhere, but the majority. Yeah. And um, so you so here you have this Hondureño. Yeah. That admittedly came to this country illegally, mm-hmm. but is now saying that those same people can't come in. 
The hypocrisy. The hypocrisy. <laughs> the, the, the hypocrisy of coming into this country as an illegal and closing the border the border door behind you. It's funny, right? I so mean, that tells you. Yeah. So that tells you everything. That tells you that 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 speaks of the character of that person. I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if his on his passport his last name says Green now, or 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 Smith, Gil Smith. I mean that that you know. But that, you know, but you know what? Let, 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 let me explain why I pointed out those countries, though, because uh, I spoke. To a person that works at the at the the welfare office, okay, I spoke to a worker there, and I asked her that question, like, "Hey, uh, is it really a lot of Mexicans that are crossing the border and getting free money from you guys?" And she told me straight out, "No, it is not Mexicans. It's not Mexicans. It's people from no, Honduras. It's, 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 it's people in the countries that I explained. Those are the ones that she explained to me. And I asked her, how is it that they could come in and get free money like that? And she told me, well, first, Look. first, the first reason is because they might be pregnant and they're already signing up their kid to get it because they're going to be born on this side. So they're already going to qualify. But this is the kicker right here, Jay. This is the kicker. The United States of America is granting these people from these countries asylum. Asylum. Yeah. And once they yeah, yeah, and yeah. once they have so, once they so fill out the paperwork Mexican. once they fill out the paperwork for asylum, they all qualify for welfare and, right. and Medicare. Yeah. That's it. But these countries are the countries specifically that the United States has affected their government. And these are all people Mexicans that were are qualify under asylum. Yeah, because <laughs> because we're, we're Mexico isn't controlled by the U.S. The U.S. controls these other countries. So they have to give them asylum because they fucked their countries. And these people were okay getting fucked by the U.S. That's why they get asylum. It's not because they're, they're, they're yeah, immigrants. But- it's because their country helped us. They helped us by letting us exploit their resources for our benefit. So this is just payback. When these people that are... These people... Look... The lady that works at the welfare office got so mad because she offered jobs to these people. She offered jobs. And you know what they told her? They told her, why would I get a job when I already qualified for free money? Yeah, of course. That's the mentality that they have. Yeah, definitely. And and and, and you only get that mentality when you feel entitled. When you feel entitled I because I you, you had money back in your country. You were taken care of. These people had money, but because real people started taking over their countries back, these people are running away because they know that the new governments are going to take all their stuff. So they're all literally running away here and the U.S. has to comply and give them all asylum because they, they pretty much did us the favor by allowing us to exploit their lands, use their resources for our benefit. So we really can't talk yeah. too much shit about them because our government used their government and their country and their resources for our benefit. This is just us paying them back. Like, okay, we, we use you and you guys, okay, so we're going to give you guys asylum and you guys can come here now. Because you're, 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 the people there are starting to revolt. They're starting to take back the power and we know you guys did your thing. So come over here and we're going we're gonna to hook you up. And that's basically what we're doing. We're hooking up the people that helped us, the U.S. Yeah, me, me, me personally, as, as a as a brown man, as a Mexicano, I really stay away from that from that topic. Um, just just that topic alone of of uh, the people that are coming in, caravans, this that, whatever. I don't yeah. feel it's a topic for me to discuss in that manner. As as uh, yeah. I don't see it affecting me any, you know, any yeah. any way, shape. Bro, or you form, you know how it affects me or or my family. You know I, I, how it pisses me off when they catch these people on, on video in Mexico saying, I don't know why this government here feeds us beans and tortillas. Like, we're not animals. Like, why are they feeding this this food that's for meant for animals? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. You, and the, you can the find ultimate, these videos the on YouTube. Slap, the ultimate, yeah. You can ultimate find slap them. In the face. It is. The, <laughs> we are literally giving you guys shelter and you guys are fucking calling us animals. Like, how privileged are that's, you? How high in the hierarchy were you back in your country that you could look down on us like that? The people that are literally helping you. 
that's definitely that that that's the definition of biting the hand that feeds you. Yeah, but they don't care because they know the U.S. has their back. They just have to wait it out. Yeah, man. But um, but this dude's not confused, man. This dude's not confused with pretty much all of his topics. Uh, oh, yeah. look, look at this yeah. retarded ass. Look at this retarded ass topic. Look when he talks about. Well, the game, right, when they, when they ask this dude about immigration or whatever, he says that the game is, should be, and was, that if you want to come into this country, right, you, but why does he say this? Because this is what he did, so it benefits to his story. That yeah. you get the coyote, right, you get the coyote, and you pay your fee, and then they bring you over here. And if you do it like that, fuck it, that's the game, right? But yeah. the way that these people are doing it is not is not okay. Well, what this dumbass fails to realize is that by you being for that, what you call game, really what you're saying is that really you, 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 you're in favor of the, of the, of the carteles. That's, that's what you're saying. Ah. Because that's, because that's an organization uh, that, that, that runs that, right? Yeah. So what you, so, so then, so then that's what you're saying, right? But, of course, he's going to say that because it benefits to what he did, the way he came over. So the way he came over was by that, you know, by saying, now, but this is the entitlement. We go back to the entitlement. Yeah. You say, you know what, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to jump over all the people that are in line waiting to, to do shit the right way to come to this country. And I'm going to and I'm gonna pay the coyote and I'm going to jump over you guys, fuck you guys. And once I'm across, I'm going to close the door even to my own people. Come on, man. Yeah. This motherfucker should this motherfucker should use his platform to speak about his people because they yeah. benefit from You would think like you would Maybe. think you would think he would do that, but he I don't even think he knows any cities there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I I'm curious if you if you go around asking Hondureños what they think about American Cholo, what, what, what they would think if he's a, if he's representing them, because I mean, he should be representing, right? I mean, the 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 ones I know are the ones that I actually work. That I, I mean, I know he works, but they don't show off like he does. They they, they just do yeah. their thing like a like any other raza, and they they don't act like this fool. Yeah, man. This fool acts. This fool yeah, mixes his his uh, his uh, background with uh, being a ga- being a gangster. But hey. But 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 um, but one of his biggest flex is that his mom was the biggest coke dealer on the block. Jesus. Back in the day, like how 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 do, how do you how do you feel happy that your your own mother was poisoning the community that uh, you apparently you know love, but you you give, you praise your mom for being the biggest fucking dope dealer. Like how how do yeah, you how no do you uh, how can you do that and say you care about the community? Oh, I gave out turkeys and I had a handball tournament. So I, I, I love my community. But here you are praising the, the woman that fucking, that poisoned your community. That caused death, jail time, broke families, destroyed families. You, you, you know, you, you know when, Trump, when Trump gave that speech a bunch of years back, when he said they're sending their worst people and... The bat hombres. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly who he was talking about. He was talking <laughs> about his family. Yeah, he was talking about his family that 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 America does not want here. Yep. But now you're on the polit- But now you're on the politician side, right? Now, now, now you're for now you're for Trump. But he he, he but he the same. But he doesn't want you here. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. That's the part right there. That is the part right there. Oh man, you know, so I, I mean, so sell out, so sell sell out on all, you know, all around. Yeah, uh, confused, sell out, um, everything. But those are some points there, man. Those are some points there. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, thanks, Jay. I appreciate that, man. All right, all right, all right man. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. That was a great call. I mean, I, we. This is what I love about you callers that even even the 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 ones that call and hang up. We're, we're, we're talking, we're conversating. I, I'm not uh, yelling at you guys. I want to debate. I want to talk. And I think it, it was a wild, it's been a wild, a wild, wild night tonight. Thanks to American Cholo trying to think that he could be better than Blue Devil against me. <laughs> Caller, your name, where are you calling from? 
Paul, 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 Pepper from Monte, what's up, man? How you doing tonight? Going on, listen. I hear you have beef for that vato, that fuck, uh, fake cholo. Ah, yeah. American cholo. I don't have beef with him. What I do have is issues that this guy likes to lie his his ass off and make it seem like it's is the truth. That that's that's my problem. You know what? I can't stand that vato. I I fucking called him up about two years ago. Yeah. And when you I, I debated his ass, and when you can't debate when when you you know you know you're winning. He hung, he hung up on me and he called me a racist. I was like, how the fuck you call me racist? I'm Mexican, man. <laughs> he would do that. He would do that because he knows that people will, will agree with him. People would follow him no matter what because he has a lot of yes people there. That's why he knows he could get he, away with it. He knows he could get away with he's it. A, he's a big liberal. That's what I called him. I told him about, about Biden's wife when she was in San Antonio and when she saw all those Mexicans. Oh, I always think of Mexican burritos. He trying, he's trying to say, well, no, nah, it's okay. Trump. And then all of a sudden you start hey. talking about Trump. Hey, we're talking about Joe Biden, not Trump, man. Bro, my first thought was like, that fucking bitch really said that, huh? Fuck her and her doctor shit. Yeah, now we gas is expensive. $18 for a Big Mac combo. What the hell? Oh, yeah, everything's wonderful. All you fucking morons keep voting for that fucking idiot. Yeah, it, 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 it boggles my mind how so many people can follow him and accept the lies. It really yeah. boggles the mind, dude. Seven hundred dollars for Maui, well, two hundred billion for Ukraine. It's that is a joke. That is a joke. That is a joke. And uh, I hope he's not pushing to fucking keep Biden in there. <laughs> Fuck that. Well, and you, it's going to be twenty five dollars for a taco at King Taco pretty soon. Hey man, I, I'm gonna. You know what? It's funny. I always ask. I I, I used to ask this question. Who actually cooks their own tacos in their house? Like, who really does that? Who really gets the little tortillas, and does the carne, does the, the, the cilantro with the onions and uh, the salsa? Who does that whole setup at their home? Because I've never met a, a person or a family that actually does that. Because everyone goes to uh, a taqueria. Everybody goes there to buy it. Yeah. I'm going to have to start doing that myself now. <laughs> I get one pound of carne ranchera and I can make like 10 tacos out of it. Hey, there you go, man. That's that's what we're going to have to do, man. Yeah, yeah, so, it's super, super expensive now. Yeah, thanks to uh, the American Cholo guy. Not only that, I heard he came to Chicano. You can't be Chicano when you're from Honduras. Mm. You know, I don't know about that Chicano thing. I think in the 1960s, there's probably 25 Hondurans in the whole, all the United States. You can't claim that movement with your Honduran. Be you, proud of being yeah. Honduran. But you know what? I think it's because the, the 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 Mexicans that grew up in North Hollywood in the Valley, they they didn't really live that same life that like what a Chicano did in East LA, Boyle Heights, Montebello, El Monte, Whittier. They didn't really go through that same motion that they did to understand what that word really meant. So for them in the Valley, they kind of say, "Yeah, I guess we're Chicano because that's what everybody says down there in East LA." So I guess. We're Mexican too. We're just like them. So everybody's everybody's a Chicano, but they don't really. They never really actually looked into it and really see the roots of it. So when Gil came around, they said, "Well, this guy kicks it with us, and he's asking if he's a Chicano." Sure, you're a Chicano. You're hanging out with us. We're Mexican. We're all brown. We're all Chicanos. And and that's the part where maybe his friends messed up by not realizing that 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 word has a lot more meaning than just being brown and Mexican. Yeah, yeah, no, no, Mexicans and brown. But anyway, uh, also, uh, also, uh, Colombia and Honduras, they're CIA puppet governments. You go to Wikipedia here, I have it right here. Uh, the U.S. trained a military intelligence, intelligence unit, Notorious Battalion 316, that carried out campaign of torture, killing, and state sponsored terror against Honduran civilians. And probably all of Central America during the 1980s. That was the, the U.S. Yeah. And you still have a military base in Honduras. Yeah. Yeah. And now that they're not those families that were part of that, the, those organizations, those that military group, they're all coming here. They're the ones that are coming here. Because, well, I believe it. Because the, those people that they tortured and made suffer, they're finally taking back their country. America is a terrorist organization. They blew up the Nord Stream pipeline and the 1980s they blew up 
also an oil pipeline in Nicaragua. But yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah, they call they call Muslim people terrorists, Gaza, ha- Hamas. But no, the real terrorist is Israel, United States. The, I'm the, sorry. The, this is why I tell. This is why I say that you know, at the end of the day, we can't really get mad at these people that are, are coming in their caravans because, like I said, they did a solid for the U.S. They did the U.S. a favor. And this is just the U.S. paying them back for the, their yeah. services to allow the U.S. to exploit them, exploit their land, exploit their resources. This is just, they're coming here, they're being allowed to come here because they did favors for the U.S. Yeah, you know what, American Toro Bato, you could do me a favor and kiss my ass. Hey. Gotta go, man. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks, man. That's another good caller. You know, that, that that's one of those things that most people, we don't really, we, we really just see this group of people crossing the border, but not realizing, like, why this these specific people? Why from this specific country? Because when you really think about it and you see what we, the U.S. has done in these countries, you start to realize, oh, oh, okay. Now we know these people that, that talk like they're entitled, their families did something really fucked up in their country. And they know it, and they knew they did dirty things. So they know that the U.S. owes them. And they came over here to claim what is owed to them. That's why you really can't get mad at them too much. I mean, the people from Honduras, the real people that suffered because of their families, they probably want to ask these guys a few questions. Or maybe even more, get them back to their countries so they could answer a few questions that they have for them. Oh, man, what a night. What a night, guys. I mean, uh, let's see what these, these goofballs are. So, so <laughs> show them yourself, my boy. Oh, man. Hey, yo, hey, yo, I got yeah, a Clipper fans get, get, and Laker fans. Even Laker fans. You got to know. Hey, boy, I got a question. No you more, know, you know, 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 let's see this guy's important question. Caller, your name, where you calling from? This is going to be the last call because I think we've already gone like several hours now. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Norby? What's up, man? Hey, uh, quick question. I just wanted to ask you and get your opinion now that we're on this topic of um the Chicano identity, right? Yes. So I, I have a homie who is not Mexican. Mm-hmm. Um, and I asked him once. He's actually Central American, también, um, yeah. Guatemalteco, right? Yeah. And um, I asked him one time, hey, dog, do you consider yourself Chica- Chicano? And he said, yeah, I, I guess I do. Now, keep in mind, he was raised in a Mexican, in a big Mexican community. Yeah. He grew up among um, a lot of Mexicans. However, he does not try to um, speak on issues or so or be the so-called spokesman for Mexican people or for Chicanos. Yeah. Yet he still identifies with like Chicano culture. So I wanted to ask you and get your opinion. Yeah. Do you think that's valid for him to say, um, yeah, you know, I can fit in or maybe be a potential ally as a Chicano, even though I'm not Mexican? Um, I would say, honestly, honestly speaking, I would say that he should definitely embrace his background. If he's a Chapin, mm-hmm. be, be the, the best Chapin that you can be and be part of the community. Because you don't have to be right. a Chicano to be part of the community. You just have to embrace your background, your roots, and be part of the community. You don't have to identify as the, as the every individual in, in there, just, just the best way to go about it is be you because at the end of the day, you're going to represent your people and you you want to you want to make your people look good in front of the rest. So when this guy shines and he tells people he's a, he's a Chapin, he's from Guatemala, that gives us more respect for their people. Where when he says Chicano, he's taking away the respect that really belongs to his people. Right. Yeah. And um. I feel that, and I forgot to, to add también, like, uh, he does embrace, like, um, being a Chapin or Guatemalteco, however you want to call it, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't think he identifies or, like, says it in a way where, like, oh, I'm, I'm Chicano because I grew up with Mexicans. Like, he, he still identifies Guatemalteco first. Okay. I get the sense that he's just down with like the Chicano culture, if ah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, that yeah, okay. That that does make sense. And I'm I'm happy to hear that he does embrace it and he just he does push that forward before anything else. Oh yeah, definitely. I forgot to add that part. Yeah, and by no means does he say like or does he deny his 
uh, Chapin culture or heritage or identity. Um, like I said, he's just down with the, the Rasa, I guess. And um, yeah, yeah, that was just my question for you, man. Much love and uh, thank you for taking my call. Nah, much love to you too, man. God All right, bless peace. You. Peace, man. And, and, and you know, and that's the part right there. That's the important part that all of us should embrace our roots wherever it came from. Embrace it. Be a representative of your your country, your nation, your tribe. Uh, if anything, your tribe, because that's very important. Because tribes have history, tribes have stories, they have folklore, they have things that are literally dying with our with our elders. So if anything, look for your look for your real roots. Find out the story of your family. Find out where how far it goes, and keep those so you could uh give them, pass them on to the next generation because that's really what we need to do is make sure our next generation comes out better than we did. And I like to think that it is. I really do like to believe that it is. But when we have people like like Blue Dildo, uh, American Chola, just spitting out a bunch of lies and negativities, trying to divide us, trying to go make us go against each other. Isn't it funny that these guys, all they do is talk shit about different people. They've done it so much that they convinced some white guy on the East Coast that he's like just like them. And that he can talk about people he's never met in his life. These are the people we got to be careful about. These are the people we, we got to make sure we shut down. That we speak up against because at the end of the day, they only want to win for themselves. They don't want to win for the community. They could give one fuck about the community. All they want is their likes, their subscribes, their subscriptions, and the love. That's all they really want. When what we need to do is keep working together, keep building together, not fight, not come up with any excuse to start talking shit about each other. Definitely not put up our our uh put up other people's families pictures. On the internet so that everybody can see how I'm making fun of them. Like this fool really crossed the line tonight. And like the other caller said, I mean, if he, if he really did pretty much say that about Marvelous and put that thing out there like that for him, he needs to be stopped. Gil needs to be stopped. Somebody take away his microphone because... At this point, he, he's willing to, to put people's lives in danger. He's willing to put his co-host's lives in danger. Because he's talking about things that people shouldn't be doing. I'm really surprised Boo Boo could sit there and watch Gil put another man's family's pictures. So that everybody could see. Caller, your name, where are you calling from? Uh, hey, it's Anonymous again from the city of Oxnard. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Hey man, um, I just tuned into your live right now. Um, I'm just curious. Did you talk about um, have you brought up about that that weirdo whack 100? The oh, I haven't brought up that guy. Yeah, I haven't really brought him up. I mean, another caller brought brought him up about how uh, Gil would, doesn't uh, doesn't give that same kind of energy towards whack, but he does give it to his own rasa, which is ridiculous. How he would rather destroy the lives of his own rasa. Instead of going after the guy mm-hmm. that went literally went to the door of his home where his family lives yeah. and literally not do anything. This guy says, supposedly mm, yeah. he went to his studio. Why didn't you just go back home, call him up because I know you have his number and tell him to come back. But he, he wasn't going to do that. Yeah, I hear you. Um, I'm, but I'm kind of like, uh, how do you see that word? I'm here to... Because I think I think West Coast brought it up right during the live that um, and I've heard this before in the past that it was that guy Wack One Hundred allegedly that sent out the the paperwork of AC the fake one right. Um, I don't know what do you think? Do you think it was him? I think it probably was, but then again, we have no proof. So. And, that, and that's and that's the important part because these guys tend to say things without any proof. It's just hearsay, hmm. but because somebody that they believe said it, it's got to be real, right? Yeah, uh, but at the same time, I still think uh, Wack 100 is a loser. 
<laughs> you know what? Because that guy. Here, here, and and look, I'm, let me play devil's advocate yeah. on this part. Let me play devil's advocate on this. Yeah. Wack Wet Hundred is a proud black man. He loves his culture. He loves his people. He he would probably even die for his people. And he's scared. He is extremely scared right now because he knows Rasa is is matching up to his people as far as rap, as far as hip hop. He knows we are a threat to what he believes is something that his people built. And he's he's scared oh. that it's getting taken away or that it will be taken away by our people because our people are doing so well. So well that he even hired Rasa on his label. The shout out to the Yodis. He realized these guys are really good. These guys are really going to take over my people. Well, my people helped build for us. And we're about to lose it to them. Because they're doing the most. And they're getting better every year. This this guy, Wag 100, he, he, he's not a hater. He is a man that is literally scared of us. That we are going yeah, to eventually thing. take over his his hip hop world. He's something alone in his pants as we speak right now, listening to me. <laughs> Not but um what are they gonna say? <laughs> no, um, there was some other YouTuber. I think you should like make videos on him. Yeah. You should run the table with that guy. Um his name's what the hell is his name? Oh, it's I think it's Red Supreme T V. Dude, this guy all he does is bash the look, I get it. Like people are mad that the immigrants are coming and shit, but if you watch his videos you can tell he doesn't like Mexicans either. And um that's another guy that uh Red Supreme TV. On. Okay, I see Red Supreme yeah. TV one. Yeah, if you go through his videos, you'll see he's even reacted to uh, Hater World and what's um, AC. So, um, oh, so we might find some yeah, common ground. <laughs> well, no, well, maybe you, you, yeah, maybe. But at the same time, yeah, because you know, there's people that they'll, you know, they masquerade the the fact they don't like Mexicans, but they'll say immigrants. And you know, I get ah, it, I get it. I you see, know, yeah, you don't yeah. want. Yeah, I'm yeah, looking at his people. list. I'm looking at his videos, and I could see where, 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 what he thinks. And you know, looking at his videos, he really does remind me of Wack 100, where it's another, yeah. it's an, it's another black man that uh that is that is scared that uh that our people is uh is is going to take over. Coming and, up, coming and, up, and yeah. coming up and taking over because we got we our. Our raza got a setback because of alcohol, because of drugs. Oh yeah, drugs we got a sure, big yeah. we got a big setback. That's why a lot of the people that were big aren't big anymore because they got caught up. But the the youngsters yeah. now they 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 hopefully they saw the error in their ways. The ones that are pushing out the 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 gangbang stuff, they're probably not gonna make it that far. But there are other ones that understand the music that can like the yeah. for instance like the Yodis. Where they have the possibility oh, yeah, yeah. to be even bigger than that Mexican OT guy, and and these oh, yeah, guys Mexico, and these from, and yeah. these guys are scared of them. These guys are scared that we're gonna take away something that they're that from what they see their people built for them. They're scared that yeah. they're going to lose it, so they're making it. They're trying to create a hate because they know exactly they know their own people. Love to hear us rap also. They know it. So it's not them trying to start a fight with us. It's them trying to convince their own people that they shouldn't listen to us because we're trying to take what's theirs. And they do that because they know their people are fucking with us. Their people are enjoying us perform and rap. They love us just like we love them. But these guys like Wack 100 and this other guy you told me about, they're scared of that yeah, because he's a, they're scared that they're going to lose something that they believe rightfully only belongs to them. Yeah, and that guy, he's made a video saying that, that what do you call it, that Latinos or whatever, that's, uh, that we weren't involved in the creation of hip-hop. But of course we were because the Puerto Ricans are in the Bronx. Exactly. But he like he just, he just spins a narrative that, no, no, you guys didn't. Uh, but yeah, he's some guy that you should expose next. <laughs> Just a recommendation. You know what? You know? And, and you know what? I, I, I actually had planned on doing something like that. And I'm glad you brought this up. So now I have two people that I could compare 
But the 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 main part of the main part of this whole thing is that these are two black men that are scared that Raza is gonna take something from them. But we're we're not trying to take something from them. We're just we're just trying to express ourselves in the same manner that they do. We're not trying to take anything from them. If anything, we're trying to collaborate with them because we are their biggest supporters. And they are and they are now becoming our biggest supporters also. And that's what scares people like WAC 100 and the Supreme guy. Because they see the writing on the wall. And they know that we're we're going to be just as big. But we're not trying to take what's what what is theirs. We just want to love music the way they love it. Yeah, that's the thing, man. There's always like uh, hardliners. I don't know if you're familiar with that phrase, hardliners. Like there's there's black people that like Mexicans and then you have these losers that don't like us. Yeah. And it's vice versa too, like Mexicans that also that like black people and that don't like black people. And it's just always like a clash of, uh, I guess, ideas or whatever. Yeah. And like you said, people, they get scared that they think we're taking over. But we're not, like you said, we're there to like uh, share, yeah. I guess. And you know what? And shout out, to, yeah. shout out to some of the producers that help, that are black, that help make some of the biggest hits. I mean, when you think of uh, one of the biggest hits in, in Raza history, it's a uh, Sunday afternoon, right? Uh, yes. Everybody knows with, that song. Um, ODM, right? Yes, with ODM. ODM. Right? Yes, yeah. double, double TX. Rest in peace. Uh, a black man Arky. helped produce that. Not even mm-hmm. help. He, he create. He produced that. A black man, Jamie James Carter, produced that track. He saw the talent and he created he, he created the, that beat for them, and it made history for us. It inspired us. It made sure that we play that track every Sunday when we're at the barbecue or when we're on cruising out there. We made sure we played that. A black man helped us with that, but vice yeah. versa. And yeah, vice versa. We have Johnny J, a producer that made some of the biggest hits that Tupac has, and that was a Mexican. And then you have Tony A that also produced hits with black people. So yeah, we, dude, we, and you're you're from Oaxaca, right? Yes, yes, you're sir. from Oaxaca. Yes, sir. Yeah, I know there's a lot of um, black people there. Uh, Costa Chica, right? That's yes, what they call it. yes, we have a pueblo <laughs> that's dedicated just for them, also, because we, we in Oaxaca we we even have a pueblo for like the 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 the, the what we call the the sissy boys, where we just let them <laughs> be there because even they know. That what they're doing probably belongs in their own privacy. So they, <laughs> they, they, so we, we just like, you guys go chill there. And they're like, you know what? Yeah, we're just going to go chill there. We're not trying to cause any problems. We're not trying to make a, a some weird fucking uh, revolt against straight people. They just go there. <laughs> they're, they're just in their town minding their own business. And that's the way shit. Everybody should mind their own business when it comes to like communities, pueblos. Like if if you want your pueblo to be like that, then go ahead. As long as it doesn't bother us, as long as it doesn't affect us, why do we care? Yeah. And then but yeah, we, man. That's all I had. Uh, ah, thanks, thank man. you for taking my call. You got it, man. I check out that, that. that. Yeah, check out that loser Red Supreme. <laughs> I, <am. laughs> I will. Thanks, I'm man. looking at it. <laughs> thanks, man. All right, man. Appreciate all right, thank you. you. Later, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that's one thing that I, I did want to eventually bring up, which is WAC 100. And now that I have this other guy, Supreme, like it's really a trip because they're they're really they're not. It's not that they hate us. It's not that uh, they dislike us. It's because we are a threat to their to what they would consider their own their culture that only belongs to them. But we we love music just as much as them, and they know it. And they're and they're and they're scared because their own people love us just the same way we love them. And these guys like Wack One Hundred and like and and the Supreme guy, that's a threat to them because they love their culture and they just want to keep it to themselves. They're very they're if anything they're very selfish about it, and that that's the kind of mentality that keeps us from collaborating from each other. And hopefully that changes. But as long as you have people like that, and you know, it's funny because WAC 100 is just like American Chola. They're, 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 they come from the, they're, they're, what's it called? Well, they, they come from the same cloth. That, that's for sure. Because these two are very much similar to each other. All right, guys, we went on two hours and 40 minutes. 
I got to say, guys, thank you. I saw that the likes went up. I saw that the views went up. I appreciate all of you guys for coming through. We're going to talk more about this. Sunday, we're going to do news with Nurbies. Uh, Friday is going to be Freaky Tales. So that's going to be on, to they're going to be on Tony Vision. So look out for that. Uh, we're going to go live again next week. Uh, look out for Marvelous Minds also, because that's also, we're back on that also. So keep an eye on all. So help us grow so that we can keep pushing. Great information. Give me one second. That's actually my ringtone. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys. So thank you to everybody that came through. Much love. Appreciate you. Please share this. Put it on your post on your own YouTube page. Spread the word. Let everybody know what we talked about here tonight. And uh, fuck you, American Cholo, for not letting me go on your show. <laughs> and fuck you too, Blue Dildo. I know you're going to react to this. And I can't wait to react to it also. RIP to Locked Up. I'm the fool.